and you're watching Swiss Watch International's World of Watches. It's the best three hours in watch television and the best value in the watch world. We're so glad you're joining us. I'm Wiley. And I'm Megan. And we happen to have an incredible program. You're going to see names like Graham. You're going to see watches like Hublot and Cartier. And we also have some world premieres and a very, very special guest. And everything that you're going to see on the program today is on five stress-free, interest-free payments. Now, I don't want to get you alarmed, but it is time to do that shopping for the holidays. You can get it all out of the way with us, and you're going to get it at the best prices possible. You're really going to like what we have for you in the next few hours. If you missed yesterday's show, we are going to bring out a very special guest once again today, so you'll get a chance to hear directly from him some of these amazing world debuts we're going to bring you today. But in addition to our own brands, we're also going to present some new items from Ritmo Mundo, Cartier, Breitling, Bulova, and so much more. As Wiley said, every single item is on five interest-free payments. And yesterday's full lineup is still available and posted mm -hmm. at worldofwatches.tv, so you can still shop along. You have until Sunday at midnight Eastern Standard Time to get all of these amazing deals and the stress-free payments. Mm -hmm. So, to do exactly what we did yesterday, we are going to take a quickie break and show you guys this incredible documentary that our production team has been going working on. And then, yeah, that's right, I'm hearing some cheers from the control room. And then we are going to bring out our senior vice president and creator director for Swiss Watch International. So let's sit back, relax, and take a look at this. I think one of the biggest challenges that we had in our design studio in the company is how to take this huge brand, the Chiam Picard, from 1923, with the heritage, with the master watchmaking, with all the name recognition and celebrities around the world that wearing that, kings and queens. How to take this line and bring it to the 21st century? So how are we doing that? I mean, how can you take this heritage? How can you take this classic, beautiful watches and you bring them not only design-wise, but also to make them affordable enough for people to really buy them because usually those kind of watches are extremely expensive extremely expensive so this is the challenge because you know we as designers we like to create beautiful things we look at details we look at movements so when we see what's available also for us to use in the market we usually you know we go for the best and joining me once again today, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Niso Barocas. I hope one day. <laughs> <laughs> well, already around these parts. So, Niso, I know we talked a little bit about this yesterday, but for people who maybe missed the mm -hmm. show, what's the challenge with you taking over a brand, Lucien Bacard, that's been around for over 90 years? How are yeah. you incorporating maybe the brand heritage with some of your own flavor? Like I explained yesterday, I think, when I joined the company and they presented me with uh, uh, six, seven brands that I'm I'm going to be the creative director in the, for the future of this brand. No pressure, right? And, and, and yeah, it was no pressure at all. Even though you know you have to love what you're doing, and I love what I'm doing, but somehow with the Champagne, it was the biggest challenge because you have all this history and heritage weight on your shoulder, and you want to you want to make it happen. You want to continue this DNA, continue with the craftsmanship that the, this line known with before and build things that will you know that will people will talk about it in the future in the coming years also especially after i saw the movie about the the champ picard and i saw the, the the celebrities and dignitaries that were wearing the watches and i say to myself i hope that i can do those beautiful watches today that also dignitaries and also anybody else that don't need to spend thousands of dollars. And, <laughs> the rest and, and of get, us. <laughs> that's right. And also I mentioned also something very interesting yesterday is that the emails that I'm getting um, to info at uh, lechampicard.com. Which you or, said people can email. Yeah, people, people just emailing and asking about, you know, uh, about the heritage of the watches and about that they have watches from 30 years ago, 40 years ago, that either they inherit it or they get it as a gift and they want to know how to fix it, how to... I see the sentimental attachment to the brand from people 
that is even giving me more energy to continue and develop you know, those time pieces that will uh, you know, f follow and be with the brand in the coming years. Now maybe years. 40, 50 years from now, somebody Hopefully. else will email. That's so right. yesterday we presented a bunch of different collections and Wiley and I are going to go through all of those collections mm -hmm. again today, they're available, but we did not debut one of your favorites yesterday that we've got mm -hmm. here. And this is the Matador, and it is going to be presented in a little bit. It's mm -hmm. available again on five payments to everybody. But this is a watch. You were talking about a lot of these watches. You're using movements mm -hmm. that we've never used before. But with the Matador here, inside these 46 millimeter cases, the automatic movements you were telling us has over 200 individual parts. Yes. For, first that, of all, doesn't I think that just a, blow your mind? I, I think, first of all, as a general, <laughs> Uh, uh, together with the other, you know, watches. But the Matador is the watch that is in a way symbolizing the future of Swiss, of, uh, of Lucien Picard. Mm -hmm. This is the way that I want the watch and the, and the brand to be known with, with the high-end craftsmanship, the high-end movements, and the design aspect and the DNA that taking part, you know, some of the parts from the past, and you know, adding to it the, the current uh, trend in the watch, uh, in, if it's colorways, if it's the sizes, and so on. So the Matador is the crown jewel, the crown jewel of the Lucien Picard collection. For now, it's only limited edition to 400, um, 400 watches. Oh my gosh. 200 of them is with the stainless steel, uh -huh. and 200 of them is with the gold version. Which is this one right here. Yeah, and let me speak about the movement. The movement is very, very complicated movement. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's an automatic um, double barrel, more than 200 elements coming together with 24 hours hand that you can, and also the power reserve of yeah, 45, right there. 45 hours power reserve. This is a serious, serious movement that fit into a serious, serious brand. And you're gonna see maybe this is gonna be a bit the higher price point, obviously because you know everything that we offer in this watch. But you're gonna see also other watches that design with the same care and the same love, with the same attention. And you're gonna have watches for you know hundred to hundred fifty dollars watches that at any other place selling for thousands and thousands of dollars. Well, I love, I want to stop for a moment because you said, oh, these are going to be a little bit more expensive, but, but still, they're still like $120, $150. That's, that's kind of crazy. Can you explain to people at home why they shouldn't be afraid of a price like that? Because if I see something for $150, yeah, it's nice, but how good can the quality really be? I mean, um, uh, but you're talking this about material going, that this is, this is very high-end. This, 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 this is going very deep. <laughs> it's going yeah, deep right. because the history of, you know, the brands are working in a certain way. The brands have a lot of expenses. They have ads, they have celebrities that are endorsing them. I know, here they it's just me stores, and Wiley. <laughs> they, have, they have to, you know, they take all these expenses mm -hmm. and put it on the price of the watch. We are producing the watches straight from the case and the dial manufacturers from our design studios, going to them, getting the samples, if it's from Switzerland, if it's from other places of the world, and we are building the watch, and the minute the watch in our hand, we don't add all the advertising and all the, the added costs and, and the multiple people that have to you know, make profit from that, going straight to you. In normal circumstances, those kind of watches are not less than multiples of 10 and 20 from the cost. So it's thousands and thousands of dollars in the store. The brands doesn't have a choice. We have. Yeah, because they don't use celebrities here. It's just me and yeah, Wiley. That, that, <laughs> only you. Wah, wah. <laughs> so moving forward, we're going to see all these collections today, and they are still available from yesterday's show, the different color combinations. And by the way, it's selling. The Matador is selling crazy. I know crazy. it's already selling like crazy. It's in the $300 price point, <laughs> but, it's, but it's limited edition, numbered from 1 to 200 each colorway. So the stainless steel is numbered 1 to 200, and the gold is numbered 1 to 200. I don't think you can ask for the numbers because they're going first come, first serve. So, but they are all the same. They're just numbers on the back to indicate the quantity of uh, watches that we did from each colorway. Now, really quick before we say goodbye, I know you work on Lucien Picard, but you're also at the helm of Swiss Legend, yes. Ben & Sons, all mm -hmm. of our brands. What is sort of we, something we can look forward to in the future? The most exciting, beautiful, 
watches you ever saw on TV or any other place. You can start seeing them slowly, slowly coming in. I just joined the company as a creative director and in charge on these brands a year ago. And we already work on close to 200 new star collections, I'm sorry, that coming across all 200 the 200 new collections. 200 new collections. <laughs> so we're having party of quality of watches, beautiful, and all of them are in line with the trends that are going on today in the world with the big brands, and all of them are in a very affordable prices. As you know, Swiss legend moving completely to Swiss made, but you should see the pricing. It's just amazing. 99% of the watches are Swiss made. Swiss made watches of Swiss legends are under $200. It's unheard of. All. The highest quality under $200 in Swiss legend, it's, it's surprising even the most expert people. All right, well, we have a lot more in store. I know you'll be back out here again yes. soon. So we're going to jump into a preview now, and then Wiley's going to come back out. And what's funny is this first watch in the preview is from one of our own brands, and I can tell that there's a Niso hand in this one. So let's take a look at what's coming up in our first hour together. Kicking things off, we debuted this yesterday on the show, Ben and Sons. This is, I believe the name of the collection is the Voyager, that's right. 287662. What's funny, this color variation was a big seller yesterday, and we hadn't even aired this one live. This is a 44 and a half millimeter case. You've got that cool, kind of vintage military design. I'm crazy about Ben and Sons. I love Ben and Sons. Black dial, silver tone case, nice slim line curved case. And then I really like this light brown genuine leather strap. 95 bucks. I mean, you heard right from Niso, you guys are buying watches from us as though you are going to those factories and getting them right off the machine. Five payments of $19, that's it, $19 on any major credit card, and we ship this out to you tomorrow. 287662, you also get a five-year warranty on the movement inside. Coming up right after that, another one of those brand new Lucian Picards. This watch, the Pegasus, this was actually Wiley's favorite collection that we aired yesterday. I know he made one of these variations his hot pick, and it was a huge seller. When I look in the dial, I see that awesome hourglass shape to the dial levels. And that is a true multi-piece multi-level dial. It's 115 bucks. It's a 44 millimeter case. All the new Lucian Picards are about 44 to 46 millimeters. And check out the price. $23. In this case, that's 50 cents a millimeter if you want to get technical. 287747. Another Lucian Picard right behind that. What I like about this one, the Trevi Mechanical is one you've got a mechanical timepiece here. So, the fact that a mechanical timepiece requires you to manipulate it and set the time by winding the crown, how cool that your crown has that awesome, almost lever style to it. Being that it's a mechanical, it's going to be a little bit more expensive. So, you're at 150 bucks, but with everything on five payments, Guys and gals, you're at a dollar a day using the stress-free payments. I am always going to recommend the stress-free payments. Wearing something like this is like wearing a work of art. You're going to be able to see into the inner workings of your beautiful, honestly beautiful timepiece. And don't worry, we will remind you of every single Lucien Picard collection that aired yesterday on the show too. So you're going to have tons of opportunities today to shop. 287-812 five payments of 30 bucks. I want to take a moment to talk about my hot pick today. 286525. This is a very, very special item. Now, there are only a handful of these remaining. In fact, there are only three remaining of this Ponto star side. This is the kind of watch that will turn heads. It's a 38 millimeter Swiss made hand built watch. This is a work of art. Now what's fun is I actually let one of the guys on our crew, one of my favorite people, Albert, pick out my hot pick today. And he knows my style and this was the first watch that he went with because he knows I'm a girly girl. He actually had this one and another watch next to each other. And what did you say, Wiley? Well, of course, given the choice between diamonds and not, what do you, what do you think she's going to pick? Diamonds. That's right. I went with this one, the 38 millimeter. Yes, it's beautiful. 
Absolutely. You've got a two-piece dial done in this beautiful brushed, almost blush pink, and then a matte black surface on the lower portion. This is a multi-function calendar. So inside your actual dial, underneath that sapphire crystal, you are going to get, look at that, a calendar date, the month, and the day of the week. You've also got a true lunar phase complication at the 12 o'clock position. And that is because you've got inside your Swiss made watch an in-house modified Swiss made movement. This is stunning. All of that decoration, all of that jeweling is done by hand. Coming back around to the front portion of the watch, it's really hard to decide what side is more beautiful, but I will show you the blinged out side because you have 64 white diamonds on the bezel. You've got 32 of them on the dial, and then you've got one on your screw down crown. You are at 91 points, so just under a full carat of diamonds on this timepiece. Satin, leather strap, single fold deployant. Look at how easy it can slide on the wrist. This is stunning. I understand this isn't for everyone. In fact, this isn't for most. But this is the kind of item that ladies, if you are like me, and you appreciate orology, you appreciate the fact that you are wearing more than a watch. You are wearing a work of art, something that somebody actually spent time laboring over placing with their own hands all of those stones, setting the movement inside. There's not a battery in here. So think about the springs and the gears and the wheels and the cords and all of that inside here that work together to give you a moon phase. That will actually show you quarter moon, half moon, full moon, the month of the year, the day of the week, the calendar date. This is incredible. That's why the WOW TV price every day is over $11,000. And that's absolutely crazy. I understand. But look at your price, $3,300. I know that we're saying only $660 for your stress-free payments. But think about what you have here. You have something that is heirloom quality. You have something you will wear and own and cherish and then will down beyond your lifetime. The opportunity to get something for literally a fraction of that retail price is unheard of. Please take advantage. This is a brand new watch. We do have another color variation coming up later on in the show, but of course I had to go with the one that had the pink on it. 286525, the Ponto Star side is my hot pick of the show. I went with Maurice Lacroix both days for my hot picks. You did very, very well. <laughs> I wish I, I could own it. Myself. You know, we have uh, Cartier on the show, we have Hublot on the show, but when I was standing over the watches, there was one that I had to have. I mean, this is what I'm going to add to my collection, and that's the limited edition Matador. This stands out to me. I cannot believe, and this is where Niso, I like to call him Niso. <laughs> he prefers that I call him Miss, Mr. Mr. Brogus. Yeah, but, but on the show, I call him Niso. Anyway, <laughs> one of the things that I spoke to him about was this price point is way too low. This is a thousand dollar watch. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you the moment you pick this up and you feel this watch you're going okay that's expensive. <laughs> and you look into it you realize exactly what he said. 200 parts compose this mechanism. That dual barrel design that you're seeing into two open hearts in this watch is absolutely stunning. Love this watch. You know the the 2HR851 movement in here is going to be reliable and accurate for years to come. And staring into that watch, and you're literally seeing, you know, you have an hour, the minute, continuously operating sweep hand. You have a GMT. We didn't even mention this is a GMT. I know. You also have a retrograde power reserve indicator. You'll notice that even though this is powered by a rotor on the back that's going to power that 42, 42 joule movement, as I begin to rotate this, as I manually add to the power in it, you can see the power reserve indicator moving just a little bit more to the full position. I think this watch is stunning. Again, 42 joule movement, 
44 hours of power reserve in this large watch. Now, it's a 46 millimeter case. It is large and it has weight to it. But even though it's a dress watch and certainly a stunning one at that, it still has 50 meters of, of water resistance to it. So you get pushed in the pool, you get caught in the rain, you don't have to worry that you just lost a luxury watch. And he's absolutely right. This is number 23 on this watch of 200. That's so cool that we have so, it only to 200. Yeah, I thought it was 400 per watch, but it's per color that mm -hmm. you have 200 and 200. The watch, I believe, is probably one of the most beautiful designs. And if this is where Lucien Picard is heading with all of these designs that we have on the program, that brand is set. I mean, it's just like uh, the Alini Barocas line, and that is it is truly a sleeping giant. Watch as people just jump in to get these. Now, I think this is a great fit for me. Yes, it's a little thick. The watch has a little bit of a thickness to it, but that is because it is holding that 42 joule movement on the inside. There's just a little bit of thickness to it, but I mean, I think that stands out. Look at that. What do you think that looks on the wrist? I love this. We talked about this before the show, and it's interesting because normally I go for black and rose, and I mm -hmm. do think the black and rose color combo on this watch is absolutely incredible. But there's something about this variation, and I know you love it too. This is one of those watches. You, Wiley and I have been able to see this watch in a few different phases of design. Yes, just to the plastic mock-ups all the way to this. And it's crazy that now we've got it here. And I had no idea when we first saw this watch that it was only 200 per color. So 200 only of this watch and 200 of the black and rose. I also like the way they've used some color here. It's not sporty, but it does keep things a bit interesting inside the dial. Those extra hands, especially with the power reserve. I see you gave yours a full wind. Mm -hmm. I like that there's a little bit of red there, and then the sweep hand is done in blue. It just gives it, I don't know, it's a really fun interesting thing that they did. It almost borders on that sport luxury. Maybe because you can dress it down a bit. And it looks like something from another era. I mean, this really is a classic look all the way around. But there's something very modern and contemporary that you don't feel like you're necessarily wearing a vintage watch. And I think maybe it's the size point, because this had this been a vintage watch, it'd be much smaller. But going with that uh, 46 millimeter case and having a little bit of thickness to it, it feels very modern and contemporary, yet harkens back to those roots back to 1923 when Lucien Picard made their very first watch. And these can be yours, not for $1,000. I mean, look at the price point, $349. Some of the other watches that we have are just over $100, and they look like they're the five dollars $600 watch. There is no doubt, please trust me on this, this is a $1,000 watch that you are getting at a fraction of the price, and it is limited edition. There's only going to be 199 other people on the planet that have this watch. How rare is that? Please consider it for your collection. It's 283089. We want you to get one of these home because they're going to go fast. In fact, I got to save one for me. I know. <laughs> I'm I serious like the name about too. that. I think the oh, name the is sexy. Do you know what he said? He said that the two barrels look like the bull and the matador just at, in a oh. standoff, <laughs> and he saw the GMT hand as the sword. That's that, cool. That the matador would uh, to use. That's awesome. And it was just really cool to see his insight, just a glimpse into that uh, that creative brain. Two eight seven six six two. Well, another watch that Niso had his hand in the Ben and Sons collection. Another one of our company-owned brands. Yesterday we debuted the Ben and Sons Voyager, and today we have an all-new color combination in this forty-four and a half millimeter case. You've got a Japanese VD fifty-three. Quartz chronograph movement inside. This color variation is a black dial. Nice high contrast there with the white hour markers and hands. I love Ben and Sons watches. I've talked about this probably ad nauseum on the show before. How much I like Ben and Sons watches. I am a fan, especially for you gentlemen out there, of the vintage military army style timepieces. That's why one of my favorite high end brands is Bell and Ross. I just think they're really cool. Ben and Sons gives you that affordable vintage luxury. Notice how inside the dial, and you'll see it more when we do a closer shot, you've got the minute scale for your hour markers. Again, keeping a little bit of visual interest there. You've got almost what looks like a little retrograde at the top portion of your dial, but that's actually where you can see the traditional 11, 12, and 1 o'clock positions. Just something a little different there. The subdials, notice how 
The subdials at the three and nine almost blend in a bit, and then it's highlighted at the six o'clock position. Something unique that they did was they did modified, almost Mercedes-style hands. It reminds me of the sort of hands you would see on a luxury diver. And the nice thing is that's all filled with Super Luminova. You've got a 44 millimeter case, but I'm saying 44 and a half millimeters, almost 45, because notice how the case bows out at the sides. It's because your lug area is a little bit thicker. But check out the sides. Notice how nice and curved it is. This is a really nice curved timepiece that also features the integrated smooth leather strap. I like that they went with a smooth leather strap here because it's a vintage style. It wouldn't have been a croco embossed. They would have used a smooth leather. So all of that curvature from the integrated strap and the actual curvature you can see on the case is what allows wrist sizes from my six inch wrist down or up, I should say, to over a nine inch wrist to be able to wear this watch and wear it well. I'm gonna try it on first and then I'll pass it over to Wiley so you can see how it looks on two very different wrist sizes. Now with Ben & Sons being one of our own brands, we're gonna give you a few things. Automatically, all of our company-owned brands gets a five-year warranty on the movement. So I want you to think about that for a moment. When was the last time you bought something for under $100 and you knew that for five years, you would be covered if anything happened to it. Five years on the movement inside this watch, and it's a $95 price for you. You also get our proprietary Safatec crystal. So you'll get that crystal that is every bit as scratch resistant as sapphire. I'm wearing a Swiss Legend watch right now that has Safatec on it, and I can tell you right now, I am very, very clumsy with my timepieces. I'm just kind of just messy in general, and I do not scratch up my crystals, thank God. So you'll have that Safatec crystal on there, that nice little reassurance, if you will. I love the mirror polish bezel contrasting with the brushed area of the lugs. And look at this on my six inch wrist. It's a big watch, but notice there isn't any gapping, there isn't any spacing. It's a really easy and comfortable to wear timepiece. Now I'm gonna slide this off my wrist. I'm going to pass it over to Wiley. He's got just under a seven inches. Oh, you know what? You've got another style of it. Oh, yes. I didn't even realize that. We'll try this one on first, and then we'll show that one. And then you can uh, show them how the other one is infinitely adjustable and has probably one of the, uh, a, a nice homage. You see, we have a Lucien Picard that has a similar mm -hmm. bracelet, and I think you'll appreciate just how comfortable that is. Take a peek at this on my six and three quarter inch wrist, and I love the fact that without doing a thing, the strap just naturally bends to the wrist. Look at that. Do you see that the curvature right here all the way through just mimics the wrist perfectly? I'm gonna take this off, stay on me, stay on that shot. I want them to see that as I remove this, you know, a watch often will lay flat onto a table. Notice how that is just, it stays in that shape right there, so that when it goes on the wrist, it is the perfect fit. This is probably one of the most comfortable and best looking Ben & Sons. If it's, I'm gonna just go ahead and say this is my favorite Ben & Sons so far. Really? It is, because the rest of them are in the field style and I like it, but I could get more flexibility out of this. Because if you wore this to the office with that leather strap, suddenly it looks like a dress watch. It really takes a moment to glance in at the dial to realize how sporty and how adventuresome the watch actually is. And that little pop of color with yellow on the sweep hand, it just, I don't know, it's a good looking watch, but maybe you need to dress it up just a touch more. So as you, as you take a look at this shot, look at what else we have. Now come in close on this because there is a watch that is infinitely adjustable and you're going to love that. I actually had no idea this was slated. I think it's really cool. Lucien Picard created the Fidelity, which uses the stainless steel mesh bracelet. It is one of the best-selling Lucien Picard newer collections. So I like that Niso brought that flair over to this Ben & Sons. Well, it dressed it up immediately because some folks really just prefer the stainless steel bracelet on a watch because of the durability. Now, with that leather strap, you only have so much adjustment in it depending on where the holes are in the strap. What you're going to appreciate about this watch is we just pan down just a touch. You're good right there you'll notice there is an attachment right here that we are able to lift up 
And when we do, this makes this infinitely adjustable because all I have to do is slide this to anywhere. If you have the tiniest wrist in the world, you can come right here. So if you have like a Rudy sized wrist, it's <laughs> really tiny and petite, you can go right there. Now, if you want to go all the way to the very end, like Albert, then you would have this size wrist right here. So no matter where you are on the extreme, you have the ability. <laughs> I just He's throwing down the gauntlet, okay? <laughs> He's coming for everyone in that control room. Oh yeah, Jenny's next. <laughs> Jenny's like, you better not send for me. <laughs> I'm not, because she's packing heat. Everybody else is they talk. She's she's, she's she gets carrying. scrappy. She's carrying. <laughs> Folks, this right here, I think, is one of the watches that you're gonna find so easy to wear because of how easy it is to adjust the size. Now, if you think this looks good on the hand, let me show it to you on the wrist, and you're gonna be able to see just how good looking this watch is. And it really does dress up. Remember, this is that same style that you saw with Ben & Sons with that leather strap. There's something almost space age about this. I mean, this looks very science fiction to me. You know, when I think back to uh, the 60s, not that I was alive then, but when I think <laughs> back to seeing movies of the 60s and the images of the future, this is that kind of very clean aesthetic with the just a little bit of science there with uh, being able to see a bit more information. I like it. I mean, the, this looks very uh, adventuresome to me, but in a very high-tech way, where the other one looks adventuresome in a very nature kind of way. It's cool because I actually see this as being a very high-end watch. I do agree with the... It's interesting now, you know, thinking into those days when they were looking to the future. Now we look at that and think, oh, it's kind of got that retro flair to it, sort of like the Jetsons, if you will. But I think that this, even more than the Lucien Picard Fidelity, which has a stainless steel mesh bracelet, I think this one looks even more expensive. I mean, this is really, really, really in line, in my opinion, with that high-end Swiss-made brand that we air with the stainless steel mesh bracelet that you have aired many, many times on the show. You've made it your hot pick many times. Oh, yeah. This Beautiful. bracelet and this style reminds me of that. 287663. I like that we've got the exact same price, whether you go for the steel or the leather. Five payments of $19. Just try it out. All you have to do is put under $20 down on any major credit card. We should open a website called Steel and Leather. <laughs> no, on second thought, maybe not. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't think we're going to get the right client base. <laughs> it was just a suggestion. I was thinking watches. I love your world. Anyway, let's move on. We happen to have another great luxury timepiece at a very, very affordable price. I want you to take a look at this new design from Lucien Picard. And what you're gonna love about this, in a, we don't wanna put pressure on you, but I think every watch collector at some point has to have one mechanical watch in mm -hmm. the collection. It's kinda like, you know, they always talk about if you're a real card collector, you gotta have a stick shift in there somewhere. Well, the mechanical happens to be that watch that you don't have a rotor. It's not gonna be self-winding. It does not have a battery. It literally goes back to old school where you are simply using the crown to wind the spring that's going to move the escapement and that balance wheel and is going to give you the power to the watch. Now, you have an open heart configuration. You're literally seeing into the beating heart of the watch. Now, this stunning dial that you're seeing is a three-hand configuration with the hour of the minute, continuously operating sweep pan, a satin finish on the inside, which almost has a sunburst pattern. And then you have this stylized outer chapter ring that is actually each of the seconds. And as you see that fluidly moving around, take a peek into the back of the watch where you're able to get an uh, even greater view. How close can you come in, guys, to that beautiful mechanical movement? Megan, does this, does the escapement in this, the balance wheel, does it actually kind of look like a beating heart to you in this? It almost has that kind of, uh, that pulse to it. Uh-huh. You know what's cool? It looks, and most people might think this, it looks like it's going in a circle, but it's actually oscillating back and forth very quickly. Now, as I'm winding this just a little bit so you can see all those tiny gears going, at some point I'm going to start to feel resistance. If you have a mechanical watch, you may wind it until you feel that resistance. Now, if you have an automatic, you can wind all day. Maybe that's your nervous tick and you just need to wind your watch. Well, there's a clutch in there that's going to stop you from overwinding. Not in a mechanical. You can only go so far before, oh, I'm sorry, there it is right there. You see that resistance? I can let go and it snaps back. Don't you dare 
wind past that or you'll break one of these teeth off and it is, you're done for. You're going to have to go in for a repair and you do not want that kind of damage. The watch looks stunning. Now, I want to show you this watch on the wrist and you tell me what you think. Okay, that looks good. You notice for a dress watch, this is not overly dressy. And there's just a great tip of the hat to the watch collector who wants to see into the inside. And both you and I have talked about that skeletonized movements sometimes are a little hard to read the time mm -hmm. if they're overdone. Now, we happen to have two skeletonized movements that we'll show you in a little bit that the style of the hands, which we've never used on a Lucian Picard before, make it still easy to tell the time. This watch is in a classic configuration, yet it still gives you that great open heart look into that mechanical movement. Now, yes or no, would your boyfriend wear this watch? Yes, absolutely. He likes things that are more unique anyways, and so I could see him wearing something like this. Look at this. the generous amount of strap on this. That that's going to make that very easy for somebody with a much larger wrist than mine to still wear this watch. And do you notice that because the lugs, you know, going north and south on this watch, add just a little bit more um, size to the case that the watch wears a little larger than its actual size? I think that looks great. Folks, don't let this one get away from you. Again, this is at five, six, seven hundred dollar price point, not for you. Look at that. The price right now is $149.99. And I think right now, as you take a look at this, you realize, now the wow price on there, no, we do not have it at 116 somewhere else. That's just a little misprint on there that they'll fix. <laughs> if you leave the program, the price actually drops. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> We have people with fat fingers back there that are hitting multiple buttons, so they'll get that fixed for you in just a second. But the, the price for the program, which is incredibly low, is $149.99. Let me stress this to you, only $30 gets it home. That's it. And we're going to pay for shipping. You don't have to have a coupon, and there's no interest on the remainder of that, of that balance. Folks, this is a brand new design. Even Nice, I don't want to say he was upset, but when the folks who set the prices kept the price so low on this, they, again, the decision was you get as many watches on people's wrists. Yes, we can hold out for the three, four, five hundred dollar price point, but why? When you can get it to everybody right now for $149. Two eight seven seven three eight for the Lucian Picard. This is the brand new collection from them. This mechanical. Go ahead and consider it for your collection. 287747, you wore the 44 millimeter Pegasus on the show yesterday. You love this watch. But now we've got a different color variation. This was a big seller yesterday, even when we hadn't yet aired this particular color. Nisa was talking about yesterday mm -hmm. and today on the show about all the detail that they're now paying attention to inside the dials and on the cases. And it's really interesting to see in a watch like this, not just the decoration inside the dial and the different textures, but the true different levels and pieces that make up just the dial itself. This is a four layer dial. In a watch, now see this is the correct price point, well it's not, $114. This watch should easily be at a, probably a two to $300 price point. When you feel the watch, when you see the quality of this, this is not a disposable watch. I can tell you right now that I have picked up watches that you go, oh, that looks great, and it feels like garbage. <laughs> I mean, you and I both have seen those watches, and, and they're usually sitting on tables in department stores, like 100 watches piled up in little boxes. Oh, God, yeah. And you can go, oh, that's a pretty style, and the moment you pick it up, it feels like it's made up. It looks like it's <laughs> aluminum foil. <laughs> this watch, I mean, what you're seeing is truly a true representation I mean, this is solid all the way around. It is gorgeous. The Miyota OS 11 movement in here in this 45 millimeter case is going to be a workhorse. But what you, what you can appreciate is the detail that is coming within to this watch, the quality that is in it. And here's the guarantee with us. You go ahead and decide to put the $23 to get the watch home. We will pay for it to come to your house. You can open it up. You can look at it, examine it, feel it. See if it's everything we're saying. If it's not, you send it back. We pay for the shipping for it to come back. You get every penny back. There's not like an examination fee. You know, some people have that. Really? Yeah. I know some companies have restocking fees, and we well, don't have that. That's exactly right. There are sometimes it says, you know, it only takes $14 or $15 to get something home, but then if you return it, you, you don't get that money back. 
Really? Yeah, that's a little little known thing that annoys me. This, uh, you're not gonna have to worry about it because you're not gonna send it back, you're gonna love it. To me, when I first saw it, I thought it was a, a Maurice Lacroix. It has that look and feel to it. It's not, I mean, it's, it's our own brand, but we're proud of this. I mean, there's some of the ones you go, okay, that's a simple watch. Both you and I have had watches, even from Lucien Picard, you go, it's nice, but it's just, it's a simple timepiece. Mm -hmm. This has a complexity to it and a detail. And you'll notice that at the crown, as we come in even closer, it almost looks like a set of calipers that are just kind of holding the crown in place. And did you notice that nice little cabochon mm -hmm. on the crown? Beautiful, piston style pushers. The stippling or that little bit of decoration on the center part of the dial, and you go all the way down to uh, the white or the silver there, and it has the Cote de Genève. And even on that chapter ring around there it is, right there, at the six o'clock position around that subdial, different color than the other subdial. I love this watch. That's why I chose it yesterday. It's why I wore it comfortably the entire time. Not four hundred, not five hundred dollars. And again, the wow price is still just silly at one hundred and twenty-six dollars. But right now for the program, go ahead and save some more money. One hundred and fourteen dollars and ninety-nine cents. We're going to pay for shipping. We are going to give you a thirty-day money-back guarantee. Twenty-three dollars gets it home. All of this, 287747, the Lucian Picard Pegasus Chronograph. And if this one was not exciting enough, we didn't have this on the program yesterday, but we showed it. It was in the top ten. I like this one because of how that, I'm calling it almost that hourglass figure. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. that that one's done in the gold tone. You know I love two-tone. I always love things that mix multiple colors. I think you get a lot of variety out of that with wearing mm -hmm. things with jewelry. So I like that this one combines the gold, the silver, the black. It's got pretty much every color variation you could hope for and all reflected in the dial itself. Between the two, which you like, the darker or the lighter? Let's hold them up next to each other. Can we do that? Sure. You'll have to have your magic hand because if, uh, look at this. Here it comes. It's coming into shot. Wait Just for a it. Wait and... for it. Ooh. What do you think? Which one? Hard to pick. For some reason, this one looks very black tie to me. This yes, it one looks does. like you can dress it up a little bit more or dress it down. This one is just a straight dress watch to me. So I think it really depends on what you're looking for. Perhaps the black dial really pops, I think, because of that centerpiece there. But this one, if you're looking for something that maybe you could wear with a button down shirt but not full suit, go with this one. Look at you could that. go with both. I mean, they're $23 of payment. You know what's funny is that we're debuting all of these watches, and I think it's going to be very interesting when it's a month from now or a month and a half from now, and we're even closer to the holiday time, how many of these will probably have already been sold out. Folks, we don't want to pressure you about the holidays. <laughs> but you better start shopping. But you better hurry right now. You need to get to that phone or you're gonna everybody's not gonna have gifts. It's gonna be the worst holiday ever. So go ahead and buy watches. Don't ruin Christmas and Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly we go dark. <laughs> Folks, we, we know that sometimes there's pressure at the holidays to just shop, shop, shop. We, we want you to, of course, shop with confidence with us, but also find it at prices and that word stress-free, as little stress as possible when it comes to buying a wonderful gift. We realize $114 is a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Of course it is. But not for this particular watch, it's not. So even to make it easier, $23 interest-free for those five stress-free payments, and you're going to be able to get this home and we'll pay for shipping. You're going to love the watch. It comes in a beautiful presentation box. It's going to be easy to do the gift giving when you know you've got something that has a money back guarantee on it. Go ahead and check it out. See what you think. 287749 for the Lucian Picard Pegasus Chronograph in this beautiful itineration. You're going to love it. Well, we're going to make it very difficult for you to find your next new watch because we have so many to share with you today. And they're all gorgeous. They really are. And what's funny is so many of these we didn't even we didn't even air this collection yesterday. Uh. 287811, another watch that is a full mechanical. And what's nice is how we were talking earlier and you made the comment about a lot of watch collectors will feel like you have to have a mechanical watch in your collection, at least one. They're really expensive. Yes, they are. And they're really difficult to find affordably. And, you know, there's a lot of care that's required for them. So to be able to get a watch for $150 that. that has that old world heritage. I love how Niso was talking about how people will email 
info at LucianPicard.com and ask them about their original Lucian Picard watches that they've had for 20, 30, 40 years, which was, of course, before our parent company took over the brand. And it's really interesting to see that these watches look like something that your grandfather could have given you. There is a vintage feel. And remember, the new watch you're buying today is somebody else's heirloom. And you can buy disposable watches, and one day your heirs, the kids, the grandkids, and the great-grandkids will one day go, oh, wow, that's, you know, that's interesting. But then there are these pieces that are going to fascinate them and just hold the wonder of the day you held the watch, and you stared into that beautiful dial, and you realized it's still running. You know, the SK2610 movement, which is a beautiful Japanese movement in this watch, all in this 44-millimeter case, is reliable and accurate. I mean, again, when you think of some of our Far East, some of our uh, Asian, whether it is Chinese or Japanese, some of the most advanced electronics in the world come from there. And somehow, if you have anywhere in your thought process that something coming out of Japan, you know, like Seiko or Citizen, isn't of high quality, if you think something coming out of uh, China, like think of every smartphone that's made. Isn't <laughs> most of, of the t-shirts I probably wear. <laughs> <laughs> isn't of high quality, then you know that's not true. And the precision craftsmanship that's within this, that's allowing you to have these watches at a price point that should be at that five or $600 mark, that's stunning to me. Again, look at that kind of caliper style that's over the protector. It almost looks like a, a, like a key or a wine that yes, you see I, I in like a I vintage wanna, wanna, music box this. or something. I, want, <laughs> well, I didn't take music box, but that was... <laughs> like a vintage key or something, right? Doesn't that look like a pocket watch? Yeah. I mean, I actually have a pocket watch. It looks just like this. Look at how they left the outer edge of the dial in the silver tone, and it's textured with the same coin edge machining as they've done around the sides of the case. So it's all yes, very symmetrical. Yes, they did. It's pretty. And I love how the name, it, it, just everything on here is just so much detail. And those hands have not been used, to my knowledge, mm -hmm. on other, other nope. watches. Again, look at what they've done. Even at this price point, brand new still... buckles, brand new buckles, and the gold plating is on everything. And of course, that's a pry apart and deploy it right there. And once you feed the strap through, you don't have to worry about this beautiful strap taking all the pressure. Look at that; that's gorgeous. I'm glad that's in high definition because you're seeing the quality that we're seeing here in the studio. But once you feed that strap through the deployant. The metal parts do all the work, not the leather parts. That means this is going to last so much longer, and you're going to love that exhibition back, both Safatec crystal front and back protecting that, coin edge all the way around, three-hand configuration, and look at it on the wrist. This is one of those pieces that looks, and it's going to wear larger because of the extension of that crown. It just has a bit more presence. It's not quite in the gram category of large uh, crowns and pushers on there, but there is just a little bit more visual presence on the right. You're right. I want to wind that. Right? It's really cool. Yeah, all these new Lucien Picard watches are between 44 and 46 millimeters, which is nice because I think, as Miso was talking about earlier, that's sort of a way he's blending current modern day trends. And I don't know if you noticed when we were in his office a few weeks ago how he has like the stacks of magazines and the fashion magazines. Mm -hmm. He's always looking at what people are wearing right now. And so. I think it's great that you can kind of get the best of both worlds. You can get something that looks very vintage and has a great personality or character behind it, but you can rest assured that the movement, the quality of the materials are all very 21st century. Look into the inner workings of that watch. I mean, you're seeing the spring, the main spring right there. You're watching the escapement and the balance wheel in motion. You're watching time as it happens. And I think seeing it captured in such a vivid mechanical way really, really stands out. S similar to the all the marble statues in his office. Oh, yes. And the, sh and the, and the chandelier. <laughs> yeah, is that what I saw you swinging from? <laughs> Why? Well, yeah, he was very kind to let me do that. I've always wanted to do it. 287811. $149. We will not be employed after today's show. <laughs> it's, 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 he's the senior vice president. It, it is truly a... Uh, a wonderful opportunity to get an exclusive timepiece for just a fraction of the price. So please let me encourage you to, to do your holiday shopping early and pick up one of these great watches. Let's shift gears to a moment to let's go a slightly higher price to all Swiss made, a unique timepiece. Its simplicity is only outdone by the complexity 
of the movement on the inside. Mm -hmm. Because the dial gives you that easy glance. Because when you open up all of our packaging and you see the Eterna box that you're going to have. Remember, Eterna goes back to 1856. And as you really take a moment and you open up that box, beautiful by the way, it's what's inside. The Vaughn Big Date was Eterna's opportunity to create that classic automatic timepiece that you can truly, at a glance, tell the time and the date, but you're having an uncomplicated design. And this is just one of my favorites from Eterna because it looks like something, I said, like I said before, this looks like something my dad might wear, and I mean that as a compliment. It's something that your grandfather might have worn. It's something that if it went back in time, 60, 70, 80 years, people would appreciate the beauty, but because of the classic nature of the watch, 100 years from now. Now, we do have, at least we have had, an Omega that is almost identical to this, but it is at a much higher price point. Oh, my God, yeah. But both of them have pulled from the classic architecture. Two architects pulling from the same architecture because they know it is a bullseye, it is a hit. This watch is $7,495. And you're probably going, who comes up with this? Um, <laughs> Eterna. Something has value based on what somebody's willing to pay for it. The fact that people have paid the $7,500 price point says the watch is worth it. And that's where other collectors, when this edition first came out, there are people who jumped at it. Now as the remainders are with us and a few other folks who are charging more, we're able to put these at the rock bottom price. Now the $49.99 price is a great price. Look how much money you're saving. That's gorgeous to me. Look how thin this watch is to realize that there is actually space between this sapphire crystal and that rotor. That's how it moves fluidly. And then there is space between that movement and the dial, the dial and the hands, the hands and the crystal, and it's still that thin. And if you notice, there is still the homage to the Eternal logo right there on the crown. Three-hand configuration, hour, minute, continuously operating sweep hand. Do I have any worry with this great cushion-shaped crystal that I'm going to scratch it with this very sharp titanium pointer? Probably not. Why? Sapphire. Sapphire does have the ability to shatter, but it is incredibly scratch resistant, so I can stay here all day long, and I know that if I wear this watch every day and I bump it around, the case might get scuffed and it can be polished out because it's stainless steel, but that crystal is going to look brand new for generations to come. You have a large date complication, dual date wheel that's allowing you to see the date without the aid of a cyclops or a lens. And I'm going to slip it on the wrist very quickly so that you can get a glimpse of this. We've got a whole bunch more watches. I need to move a lot faster today, but we've had such good selection. Eterna Vaughn Big Date. Take a look at it on the wrist. Perfect size and fit. Notice there is a generous amount of that strap. You have a single um, scissor deployant on there, which is going to make it very easy to go on and off the wrist. Folks, this also comes in a darker configuration with a black dial. Both of them have that great cushion. See the cushion style of the dial where it actually bends, as do the hands, to fit the shape and the curvature of that dial. So if you're looking for this in either the lighter or the darker, it certainly is available, and it looks incredible. This automatic movement is never going to require a battery. It's all Swiss made, and it's one of those watches you don't want to let get away from you. One. 01466. It's thirteen hundred and ninety-nine dollars. That's off of the seven thousand dollar price point, and only two hundred and eighty dollars gets it home. That's your first of five stress-free interest repayments. It's a great gift idea, but maybe you have somebody in your world that's a bit more sporty, a bit more adventuresome. Let's take a moment and look at Luminox. Luminox is one of those companies that since 1989 has been building incredible timepieces, and they love to conquer air, sea, land, and space. And the SXC Space GMT is one of those watches that you just won't believe because it is designed for the rigors of space. And this watch, in all of its Swiss-made glory, is one of those pieces that when you pick it up, you realize, okay, this is built to last. When they throw monikers on the back or names, it's not just, oh, what did we pick today? You know, we like the Navy or the Marines. Let's just stick a logo on there. They wouldn't mind. If you see something like this and you see something like, you know, the, uh, the Space Expedition Corporation, you know, when they partner with these folks, they get specs and requirements that if this watch were going to be worn by your astronauts, 
what would it need to meet? These are actually worn by astronauts working on the SXC right now in space. Is that not just crazy? That blows my mind. <laughs> of course, you know, you have a, a fixed, well, that's actually, that moves. There you go. These are designed to not move with great ease because if you perchance did take this in the water, because it's 200 meters in water resistance, when you have a, a bi-directional bezel, you have the hazard of possibly shifting it in the other direction by having that tighter bezel on there. It makes it less likely that you could move it because one of the things you have to appreciate about Luminox, you're going, hey, but it's got a leather strap. I can't take that in the water. No, you can because Luminox leather straps are specially treated so you can actually wear it diving. And something that I was thinking about that we've tried before, if you look inside the dial, you can see that you've got that fourth blue hand. That's your GMT hand. That gives you a secondary time zone. What's cool, though, is you could actually use your bezel and set this to be a third time zone. And that is pretty remarkable because if you're in, you know, on the International Space Station and you pass over a country, you'll know what time it is there. <laughs> Wouldn't that be kind of crazy that to think be, about? Yes, it would. Folks, you'll also notice that there are these little tiny markers all the way around. These, they almost look like little dashes. You'll see them on the hands and you'll see them all the way around. Most of the time, that's just kind of a painted on luminescence where you hold the watch up to light and it'll glow. If you're unfamiliar with Luminox, they actually use tubes filled with an inert gas called tritium. Tritium constantly glows 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So should you be on the space station and you head into ultimate darkness, this is what you'll see staring back at you. Do you, know for a, do you know for a watch manufacturer to use tritium, it's not as easy as just saying you want to use tritium. You actually have to apply for it and get special um, requirements and certifications to be able to use tritium on your watches. It's not as easy as just saying I'm going to use tritium. You don't Google tritium and no, order a big No, you don't just it. do it. No. <laughs> yeah, I bought me some tritium for the car. So it's super lightweight because it's all made out of polycarbonate. You do have the stainless steel bezel, but the 48 millimeter case is polycarbonate. I think this one, check this one out. This one may is be this stainless steel. This may be the steel one. Feel that. Oh, excuse me. I take that back. We do have another variation oh, that yeah. is polycarbonate on our website. You know what? I love that about the show. That if you want it, there, <laughs> but I it, never know what's going on. That's not what I'm. I'm trying to dig you out of the hole, Megan. <laughs> you know, one of the things I love about the, don't worry, we'll edit all that out, Megan. They'll never hear us say that. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So glad we don't work Editing. in live television. We're not live. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> One of the things about this watch is it does come in another configuration. There is an uber lightweight polycarbonate reinforced case that has a mineral crystal and is super lightweight. Some of you may prefer this stainless steel version that's a little heavier, but it really, I like both of them. I mean, yeah. I really do. I, I would probably pick this one. Now, the case is 48 millimeters, and of course, at the 200 meters of water resistance, you certainly can use this diving, just like you said, with that special treated leather. The Swiss Ronda movement on the inside is going to be reliable and accurate for years to come. $249, you better believe it, for a price-protected Luminox. Only $70 gets it home. Consider this for your collection. So whether you're just going across the street or across the cosmos, you're going to love the Luminox GXC Space GMT. Megan, you happen to like these. Oh, I do love these bundles. 287015. One of the best values is this Abyssos Neptune bundle. The Neptune, which is the watch on the left, is a 52 millimeter. Now, I know that sounds crazy. I'm actually wearing my own personal Neptune watch on the show right now, and it's a 44 millimeter. So 52 millimeter sounds like a huge watch, but these are some of the most curved watches that Swiss Legend creates. Inside the 52 millimeter Neptune, you've got a Val Swiss 21 joule automatic movement. You get 100 meters of water resistance, a Safatec crystal, and the five year warranty on that movement. The watch on the right is the brand new 48 millimeter Abyssos. That is a Swiss made watch. Not just a Swiss made watch, it has the STP 1 11 Swiss made automatic movement inside, and that has 1,000 meters of water resistance. These watches, together for a total price of $300, can be yours. They'll come packaged individually. The Neptune on the left comes in an automatic watch winder, which will hold your Abyssos. And the Abyssos comes in a custom three-slot black, I mean, excuse me, a three-slot red watch box, which you can see in the shot in the back there. 
five payments of $60. So $60 right now in any major credit card, you get two watches with Swiss made automatic movements, one of them being a full Swiss made watch. Now if you like this color combination, 287015. Here's another of the two, I like this one better, 287017. The Neptune on the left, 52 millimeters, has the silver tone hour markers and bezel insert. Everything else is blacked out. The Swiss made Abysos on the right, totally blacked out with pops of white and orange. Again, guys and gals, $300 is the TV price normally reserved for just the Swiss made Abysos. The past couple of weeks, we've decided to do this bundle and it's doing very, very well, so we wanted to continue it. Essentially, you are getting the Swiss made automatic Neptune for free. $2 a day. That's all you have to save if you use the stress-free payments. 287017. And as just a little insider tip there, because they both come packaged separately, you actually could give them as two gifts or wrap them and give them to yourself as a nice little surprise. Well, we have made it to the end of our first hour together. We are moving into our second of three hours. We are going to jump right into a preview, show you what's coming up. Every single item is on five stress-free payments. That's a huge deal mm -hmm. because, like, we're showing you with these watches. I mean, some of them, the stress-free payments are $15, $20. It's, it's really amazing. easy. It's really easy to get things home. And as we were talking about with shipping earlier, there's always mm -hmm. free shipping here. It's not just promotional. It's free shipping 365 days a year and also free returns. So while you were talking about how some companies, which I didn't even think about this, I know about a restocking, restocking fee. fee. Mm -hmm. It's crazy to think about you could actually order something because we understand you're taking a chance. I used to be nervous about ordering things online. Mm -hmm. The idea that I might have to pay if I didn't like something to return it. That's a horrible, th I would never ever want to do that. Here, free returns, no restocking fee, no nothing. So if you don't like something, within 30 days, you just call us up, we will give you a return slip and you just send it back. It is that easy. So definitely take advantage because during the show, not only are the prices lower than they normally are on the website, but you have the stress-free payment. So if you don't want to put $350 out on something, but you could use the stress-free payments and just put a fraction of that, then it's a little bit easier maybe to kind of jump and purchase something. Well, I know that if you buy the Lucian Picard Matador, like the one I'm wearing, which is a limited edition piece of only 200 you won't return it. Because <laughs> he'll steal it from you. No, because that's my I that's, hope that that's all 400 pick. get sold so that you can't get one. That's a mean thing to say. I don't <laughs> know why I just <laughs> say. I'm such a bully. You're just saying that because your ankles are swollen. Let's move on, shall we? Ankles. It's really terrible. All right, here's a preview of what's coming up in our second hour before I punch you in the head. Ow! That's what, I, that's what you get for talking back to me. She's violent. I hope that's on camera. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Bulova dress watch. You know, Bulova has been building watches since 1875. And this piece happens to be one of those pieces that when the moment you pick it up, you realize it's slimline design, it's lightweight. It's almost, you know, the case almost sits in there like a jewel. Oh, How would wow. you describe it? I'm, we're looking at it privately while you're looking it's at it. It's a beautiful. concave case design because it does taper towards the back. So you're right, it's almost like it's a faceted jewel. It really is. Wait till you see this watch in person. This is going to be probably one of in my top five Bulovas. So when you see this, you're going to be really, really impressed with it. And it's 210278. We're going to do a live presentation in just moments. And I think you're really going to appreciate it. And right behind that is Luminox, the F-22 Raptor. And this is one of the most patriotic versions with those splashes of literally uh, the blue and the red. And you can say even white, even though it's a bit more silver tone in the middle. It really is a nice watch. And of course, it's a price protected brand. So you are going to love this watch because we're, look at the price point not eleven hundred dollars but only four ninety nine hundred dollars gets it home that's your first of five stress-free interest-free payments and uh, I, I like this one a lot because it's not in the all blacked out version this is one of my favorite luminox watches that we air it's also all titanium so it's super lightweight oh yeah that is coming up right after that ritmo mundo now we actually have this. This is so exciting. I almost made this my hot pick. We've been airing the 47 millimeter Ritmo Mundo Corinthian World Timers. This is the ladies variation 
So it's under 40 millimeters. I think it's about a 38 millimeter. It is so cool. I cannot wait to air this watch live. Two eight, excuse me, 276506. You've got all rose tone for your case, your bezel, crown and pushers. I love the way it looks like a pocket watch. It's got a silver textured dial and then a black leather strap. 276506, $50, just like that, gets it home. Quick mention of my hot pick, 286525. I'm gonna go right to the wrist with it. It's a 38 millimeter case. You have a Maurice Lacroix modified Swiss made movement. Not just a Swiss made movement though. This multifunction calendar gives you the day of the week, the month of the year, and the calendar date. You also have just under a full carat of diamonds on a 38 millimeter case. Now this is my favorite color combination. We do have another variation airing later on in the show, but I love the black and pink. And what's interesting is you'll notice these little buttons on either side of the case. Those are how you change the different functions, such as the hand that operates the date, and then those little crescent moons. If we could come in a little closer, you'll see that those are the day of the week and the month of the year. And then right up here at the 12 o'clock position, you have a lunar phase complication. Now I set the lunar phase complication right now to reveal a full moon because I wanted you to see how it would look right there. But it's just absolutely stunning, this watch. Diamonds around the bezel, diamonds on the dial, and even a diamond on the very center of your screwed down crown. It's on a satin leather strap. This is a hand built watch. $17,000 price that we have for five payments of $660. I know I'm just saying only $660, but this is a $17,000 hand-built masterpiece of orology. 286-525. That is my hot pick of the show, the Pontos Star Side. Again, it's 286-525. You have a great sense of taste with that watch because it is so unique. It looks very Art Deco to me. Like if you imagine a nightclub from the 1920s, 1930s, and the glamorous gowns and dripping with diamonds, this kind of just sums it all up. So Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> well, it's gorgeous. It really is. Speaking of gorgeous timepieces, let's take a moment and look at the Lucien Picard Matador Automatic, which is my choice for today. You know, Lucien Picard has been around since 1923, building beautiful watches. And now that we've taken over, holding that name and the company in trust, we want to make sure that we do our job presenting the very best of the 21st century versions of Lucien Picard watches. And we certainly have hit a bullseye with this one. Niso and team have done an excellent job with this dual barrel, dual open heart configuration watch. Now you have the three hand configuration with the hour and the minute on there, but you also have a, a secondary time zone that's built right in there with that GMT hand. You'll also notice that you have a power indicator built into it so that you can see how much wind the watch has. Now it's an automatic movement and believe it or not, this watch has 200 parts on the inside. It's a 42, 42 joule automatic and it's a 46 millimeter case. Now there's 50 meters of water resistance within that case and the 2HR851 movement is going to be reliable and accurate for years to come. Now all you have to do is a simple motion of your wrist is going to cause that rotor to rotate. That's going to wind the watch and it's going to provide power for both barrels that you're seeing there. Now per chance, should you feel that you need a little bit more wind, you can simply wind the crown and you can watch as it moves the power indicator right there. The watch has a bit of thickness to it because there's a lot of movement inside of there. Safatec crystal, both front and back. And of course, with even with this complex movement, you're still getting our warranty that's on the Lucien Picard watches. I want you to just take a moment and look at that on the wrist and realize that really looks great. I really think this is just one of their best timepieces. The weight, the feel, the construction, it all says quality. That's why a watch like this, six, seven hundred dollars, eight hundred, a thousand dollars, the three hundred and eighty dollar price that we have it at, which is the wow price, is uh, a little mind boggling. The fact that we've taken even more off for the show, and it's a world premiere, 
I mean, they've never been out here before. Outside of when we snuck it out, remember when we creeped into the vault? I remember. We stayed up late. You're not we, supposed to talk about we that. We baked cookies and told ghost stories, and then we broke Braided into the vault. Braided each other's hair. <laughs> My back never looked better. But I want you to just take a look at this, and it was really very attractive. I've never had French braid. But this is one of the watches that the moment you pick it up, you realize there is, there's quality in this. I mean, it's not just a, a pretty watch. There is quality in the construction and so much pride. I mean, you can just see it with the designer, Niso, that was out here. I mean, he was very passionate about this. I love how you made the comment uh, to me before the show started, like right up until the second Niso came on air, he was doing watch stuff. He was like working and talking to designers. We're getting ready to go live on the air and he takes a call and I can hear him <laughs> listening and talking about watch design to someone. It was like, a, you know, somewhere in Switzerland, I'm sure someone called Niso, what do we do? And he was giving this great information. And here you're seeing this watch. And look at that. I mean, look at the presence that has on the wrist. You know, if you were out to dinner and you were wearing this, well, if you're wearing this, it would look fantastic. <laughs> but, you know, even when I'm wearing it, I think it still looks great. Are we going to air the rose gold one soon? You know, let's get that. Jenny, where's, that, where's the gold one on this? Would you dig that up? Because I want you to I see this side by side. I know I probably shouldn't have side. done that. Oh, yeah. Because we try. <laughs> like we're going off script. <laughs> well, it's one of the things that we want to do is more often, if we have multiple styles, we want to show you them simultaneously so that you don't have to wait. Because if you only get to peek in at the show and you're going, oh, that's nice. I wish it came in gold. Well, it does. So we're going to try to make sure we do that more often, have them closer together. And uh, we're just... Don't be shy. Just... You're going to have a very famous <laughs> arm now. <laughs> you, owe, you owe over $500 for that arm coming in shot. <laughs> Take a peek at this and see which one you like better. Now, the number you're seeing up there is for... The, uh, I, the silver tone. The silver we'll tone. get you the rose gold tone but one Go in ahead and come in on this one and take a peek. Well, I'll just hold it. Let them see both of them side by side. I'm going to reach over. Give me the watch. What do you think? Just as they're setting up the shot. I know. <laughs> it's so. Di it, oh. I really struggle with trying to find my favorite. I love the silver tone. I think there's more versatility. But I'm just always so partial to black and rose together. I mean, these watches are so gorgeous. What do you think, Rudy? Which one? We have silver, Megan, silver, <sighs> Jenny. Jenny says gold. I, you know, when I look at these in person, I keep going to the silver. I look but at the this rose on TV. Is really beautiful. But it's pulling your eyeball in. It's hard to believe with this much complexity in the watch and design that it's not solid gold. It's incredible to me that we did something so limited. We've never done mm -hmm. watches that were this limited as far as quantity is concerned because there are only 200 of the rose tone and 200 of the silver tone. And they each have their own number on the case back. And in a world of 7 billion people, it's, 200 is nothing. It's pretty, yeah, I mean, it's pretty incredible to think about something like that. I love the use of color. I really think it's an interesting design aspect where they actually chose to do the GMT hand and the retrograde hand and the continuous running seconds mm -hmm. in a red and blue. I just think that adds a little bit of visual interest because then the rest of the watch has the black and rose or in the other one, the black and silver. I love this, this collection. I think it is really a bullseye matador. And, and it really is one of the watches that if you get this home, you're going to be amazed. It's going to be a phone a friend kind of moment of, I can't believe I got this for this price point. I can't believe it either. I mean, you have to imagine all of this watch design, uh, the molds coming in, they, they finally get the cases back, and then you only have 200 cases sent to you in the gold, 200 sent this, and then the molds are no longer used, and it's never assembled this way again. That's amazing to me. Remember, if you buy the watch, only 199 other people on the planet can say they own it. They might own a different watch from Lucien Picard, but not this, and I promise you're going to love it. Well, go ahead, give us a call, 283090 for the rose gold tone in the Matador. Now, going on to that Bulova you really like, 210278, oh, yeah. this is an interesting one. I, I, first of all, I really like that you threw it out there. This might be one of your favorite. This is in your top five Bulovas. Well, there is a slimlineness to it, because some of the Bulovas now, particularly with the Precisionist collection, some of them can be big, unless it is just the 262 kilohertz, uh, the one that's not in the larger case. And 
this watch just harkens back to kind of an older style that I think when people put it on, they're going to go, oh, yeah, that's like not wearing the watch at all, but it has all the visual presence of wearing the watch. Now, it's only a 40 millimeter case, and it's only 11 millimeters thick. So when you see the watch, I mean, there is a, even the, even the bracelet is, is thinner mm -hmm. in its construction, but even solid links. Now, take a look at this. I can't quite figure out which watch in the watch world this reminds me of that is a super high-end watch. It's going to take me a while. You're going to probably remember after the show. I'll call you at like 3 a.m. <laughs> you know, like normal. when you're Yeah, like, always. <laughs> <laughs> take a look at this. Now, here's the part that really stood out to me. When you pick up the watch and you realize how thin and slimline it is, and look at how the lugs even bend down on the watch, but the case just kind of sits in there. I mean, it, it just almost is like it's sitting in, like it's a facet, a jewel. Okay, which watch was it that had the um, the lugs that moved like that and it sat in there? Was it also a Bulova? Yes. That's, this is what it's reminding me of, one of its cousins. Yes, they, they do this case design quite a bit. And it's kind of a concave case design because notice how it tapers towards the back. Yes. So when you put this on your wrist and then you have the bracelet sized, it's almost like it becomes slimmer because it almost gets pulled into your wrist. I'm going to put it on the wrist because, you know, we have a dual push button, dual scissor deployant, which is really very nice. And as I slip that on, when you see it on the wrist, it lays on the wrist so incredibly well. Look see at that. See how much slimmer it becomes once it's sized down to you because that case almost gets pulled into your wrist. But there's just something about it that it sits up, not high, but almost like a jewel sits up off of a ring. And I like that. I mean, and I like how you can see that it tapers on the wrist. It, it lays there in such a way that it has a different visual uh, appearance than some other watches that are just kind of bulkier. I love how the dial looks. There it is. There's the light catching it that you're not necessarily seeing until it reflects off of there. High mirror polish on the Arabic numerals, high mirror polish on the hands, as well as in the subdials. Megan, would you be so good to start our chronograph Absolutely. since I'm holding the watch in place? And you can see that simple push is going to give us a start of the chronograph at the 2 o'clock position. Notice there's an expanded date window at the 12 o'clock. You're getting a peek into that date wheel, which you don't usually get. Hitting that pusher again at the 2 o'clock is going to stop it. My hands look great. And then there is our reset right there at the 4 o'clock. You see the hands spin around. Now, this is one of those watches, I have to say, I picture that your boyfriend would love this watch. Yes, absolutely he would. I mean, this is a dress watch. There is no doubt about it. But because of the chronograph and because of just the way it's constructed, easily to wear this with blue jeans and a button down or even a t-shirt, it dresses up or dresses down depending on what you're wearing. The $400 price point might be a little high. The wow price of $299, I think that's, that's a winner. But at $139, to get a Bulova, a watch that's been around since 1875, and you're getting all of this quality of construction, a name you trust, as well as, I think, something very stylistic that maybe you just don't get with every watch. $28, folks, that's all it takes to get it home. That's your first of five stress-free, interest-free payments. And if you need something bigger, bolder, badder from Bulova, well, we got that too. Now, yeah, speaking of stylized, this next Bulova. Oh, Jenny, let me see that watch just for a second. It's kind of crazy. Now, the last watch you just saw, the Bulova, that's the dress watch that we just showed you. Uh, it weighs in at only 91 grams. That's a good weight. I mean, that's, you know. But the watch we're getting ready to show you right now weighs in at 169 grams. <laughs> that's just to tell you, it's heavy. This is not a lightweight in any way, shape, or form. The precision is, happens to be the culmination of the technology that Bulova has put into the quartz movement. Now, you've seen a lot of mechanical watches and automatic watches on the show. If you happen to have a mechanical watch, it's going to be running between 3 and 6 kilohertz, which means it's going to be accurate to within 10 to 15 seconds per day. That is the expectation, even from a certified chronograph, that you're going to have that level of accuracy on an automatic or a mechanical. That 
automatic you may be wearing, that the simple motion of your wrist, like the one I'm wearing right now, I can expect that this watch, even with its dual barrel composition on the Solution Picard, is only going to be accurate to within 10 to 15 seconds per day. If you happen to have a quartz movement, maybe like the one that, uh, Megan, is that an automatic or a quartz? No, I'm movement? wearing a quartz movement right so now. So the quartz that she has on her wrist, which is a beautiful Neptune, mm -hmm. is going to be running at somewhere between 32 kilohertz and accurate to within 10 to 15 seconds per month. Well, that's pretty good, isn't it? I think so. It's going to take, you know, a full six months before you're even a minute off time. The Precisionist happens to have a tri-prong tuning fork on the inside made out of quartz, and it resonates not at 32 kilohertz, but 262 kilohertz. And because it runs at 262 kilohertz, it is eight times more accurate than the watch on your wrist, as fine of a timepiece as it is. And this is accurate to within 10 seconds per year. You'll notice that the sweep hand right now is running continuously, but simply hitting the pusher right here is going to cause it to swing all the way around to the 12 o'clock position to prepare our chronograph to be the most accurate chronograph in the world as well. Because it is accurate not to one tenth, one hundredth, but one one thousandth of a second. So now that we're ready to start our chronograph, hitting the pusher at the two o'clock position, you'll notice that right here, come in close, Rudy. I want them to really see what's going to happen at the 12 o'clock position. Oh, that was good. Now when I hit this pusher, you're going to see two hands go into motion. You'll notice that there is a red hand spinning at lightning speed and a white hand that's actually keeping track of our one-tenth of a second. The ones that's spinning at an unbelievably rate of speed is keeping track of one one-hundredth of a second. Now, we couldn't possibly move a hand fast enough to show you one one-thousandth, so the computer inside is keeping track so that when I stop this, everything locks into place. Now, watch that hand at the six o'clock position. You've kept track of the seconds, the tenths of a second, the hundredths of a second, all the way down to one one thousandth of a second. Had we let it run, it would also keep track of the minutes and the hours because you have totalers for both. I'm going to hit the reset. Now the watch is prepared to go back into chronograph mode once again. But we want it to go back to keeping track of time traditionally, which is as a traditional sweep hand. Hitting that button, you can watch the sweep hand spin all the way around to catch up exactly where it needs to be so that this watch stays accurate to within 10 seconds per year. Congratulations, you can now be the owner of the world's most accurate quartz movement, but not at $900. Yes, this is the absolute culmination. You've got all of this gold plating. You have that movement, you have this 170 gram weight of stainless steel, all of it for $900. That's the price you pay in the jewelry store, even if they gave you a couple of hundred dollars off. It still doesn't beat our wow price of $673. But look at what we've done, $369. Now to me, you know, this 46 millimeter case is just the right size, it's large but it is still incredibly comfortable. Now you also have 200 meters of, is that two or 300 on this one? This one I believe is 300 meters of water resistance. Let me see the dial. What do you think? Two, uh, 200, excuse so me. So you have two, because we have one that's 300. Oh yeah, so the silver tone, the Champlain is a 300 water resistant watch. As my uh, beautiful hand reaches in to rotate the, uh... <laughs> but you know, <laughs> can I rotate it in the other direction? No, why? Because the unirotating bezel and that 200 meters of water resistance makes this the perfect dive watch. Isn't that gorgeous? If you're going to have a desk diver, mm -hmm. that's the, the dive watch you wear to the office to look like you're more adventuresome than you really are, <laughs> then this is the watch to have because it's a serious timepiece. But if you do find yourself in the ocean depths, have no fear. The construction of this watch is designed all the way from that screw down crown to the reinforced piston style pushers to that unirotating bezel to take you all the way from the office to the ocean depths, and you're gonna do it with style. And if you happen to be timing the Olympics while you're there, well, you can do it down to one one thousandth of a second. Two, one, two, four, eight, two, the Bulova Precision is one of our favorite watches, and I promise you one of the best gifts you can give this holiday season. Now, yesterday we presented the X1 chronograph, and you were saying that this is one of your favorite Ebel watches. You know, there is something, again, you'll notice that I like the thinner watches, uh -huh. not necessarily the oversized case, because, I mean, I'll wear the watch that I'm wearing now, which the beautifully designed Lucian Picard Matador dual barrel, but it also, it also, is so slimline that it is comfortable on the wrist. If I'm gonna wear a watch all day long, now this watch is only 43 millimeters, 
But if I'm gonna wear this watch all day long, I want something that has a smoothness to it. This is such a finished case all the way around that there is a smoothness. Now I, you know, I hate to be just crude with it, but this is not a hair puller. <laughs> and whether you're a gentleman or a lady, if there is anything to snag, whether it is something attached to your arm or it happens to be the blouse or the shirt you're wearing, you don't want that. I mean, there are sweaters you don't want to snag. This is incredibly smooth, incredibly well finished. Even the coin edge has a smoothness to it. Now, Megan, can you see this on camera where there is a bit of iridescence right there in that coin edge? Oh, yeah. You can see it also. If we got the light, there he is right here. You notice this is all in a satin finish, but there is a high mirror polish to certain points of the watch very subtly. And this is where I need your, uh, your vocabulary. How okay. would you describe these pushers? Because they're just... They're almost like, um, you, you, know, you know, some watches have almost like a ball type or a, a oh, ball bearing yeah. type. How would you describe this very smooth pusher other than well designed? You can see some knurling around the crown that allows you to easily adjust the watch. But there is a smoothness to it. It's just you know, ever so subtle. Everything on eBell watches, and I think we talked about this yesterday, elegant. everything is so elegant but also so fluid. Everything flows into each other. There are never any sharp edges. There are never any round. Everything is rounded. Every Look at even the way they've got the lugs. It's like the very edges have been polished off, so they're, everything is so smooth and symmetrical to, to it. To me, it's like they've taken the watch and they've put it in a riverbed for 100 years and just let the water smooth yeah. off every rough edge. I also like, and this I think is very interesting, the fact that this is a dress watch or a casual watch, if you will. I mean, it's, it's an expensive timepiece. The nicest dive watch. The nicest watch. dive watch ever. But you know what's interesting is we rarely, and we see all different kinds of designers, rarely do we see gunmetal as an no. option for men. Or just in general with dress watches. Most of the time we think that gunmetal means mm -hmm. sporty only. Gunmetal has to mean casual. But here's an example of something that is very, very high end. This is a $3,000 retail price. I know it doesn't say that they're the list price, but the actual list price is, oh, excuse me, $3,400. That's and the retail price. When you see this and you realize it is that company, this is, okay, this is why I chose it as one of my favorites. If I kind of weigh it out, if I could only wear one watch, if it didn't have any more collection, just one watch. You said this yesterday. This is the type of watch that I would pick. You know, there is a, uh, a, a Zimix that I brought in mm -hmm. to have them do some cleaning on mm -hmm. because it's one of my favorite watches. It's a 38 millimeter, it's a small watch, but if I only had one watch, it would be one of those watches I would wear just by itself. This watch, you wear it to the office, it suddenly looks incredibly dressy, it is smooth and refined. It's one of those you go out to dinner and suddenly the dark color pulls the eye in. But then if you headed out on the cruise or you're out at the ocean or you threw on a scuba tank, <laughs> this watch meets you with the durability. It's like a bulletproof car. Yeah. You, ah. don't, you don't think about you know a bulletproof limousine. Oh, the voice is saying we've got to move on to a new watch. I like that. Let's just stay with this one for a while longer. <laughs> Folks, this watch, again, $3,000, only $1,199. I say only because it's, you know, 66% off the retail. $240 gets it home to your first to five uh, stress-free, interest-free payments, and I think you're really going to like it. In fact, I'm just going to put this in my pocket right now. Oh, yeah, sure, no problem. You also have a Swiss-made Etta Quartz Chronograph movement inside. We're going to move on to some of our own brands here. Elini Barocas. That's right. The Gladiator. We were talking about the Gladiator and the Fortitudo before the show. The Fortitudo is another Elini Barocas collection that I call the fraternal twin of the Gladiator. We've got two high fashion variations to show you here. Although on our website, the Gladiator collection has many different flavors, if you will. Lots of dressy models, but today we are going full on sport. You know, you are quite a fashion plate. I like to think so. <laughs> and and so do others because they have hired you to do, you know, I mean, you're, you're out okay. there. Doing, I don't want to say hired you. Let me rephrase that. I'm not talking about the weekend job. I'm talking <laughs> about the, um, you've done, you know, stuff online mm -hmm. on television. Yeah. Uh, give me your true opinion. What do you think about the strong colors that they're using in this design? Because we've seen it in the classic black. You know, we have a couple of different variations. What do you think? I, first of all, I love this. I love when guys take risks 
as far as fashion. I think women are more prone to do this than men are. You know, I own red watches and blue watches and all different kinds of colors. So I think this would look really cool if a guy was wearing this with a white shirt, a chambray shirt, even a blue shirt, something to match it. But what I love is that they did a two-tone of color in the black and silver tone for the metal. I think that that, to me, even more so than the strap here, that has the coolest look, I think, because it allows you to see all the different components. Like, one of my favorite variations of the Gladiator is black and rose, but when the case is all done in rose, you can't see all the different pieces that make it up. Sure. So to be able to see something like this, I mean, this to me has a very cool European design to it. It's got like a wild Italian style to it. You can tell. Uh, you know, I, yeah, that's right. Miso. We know whose hand was on this one. <laughs> I think this is incredible because the price point. The price point is crazy on this because, again, you can, you can be in the department store and there's that table that's usually set up with, you know, dozens of watches. And they're right at this price point, the $59 to $79 price point. And you pick up the watch and you go, ugh. You I, can I, feel that the material is it's base metal. You know, have you ever like oh. tapped one of the watches and it feels tinny? Oh, there's no doubt. Uh huh. And you know that just like your boyfriend said he didn't want a, a gold watch because everything was going to flake off. Yeah. <laughs> those would be the ones that flake Amateur. off. Amateur. Let me just show you, <laughs> as I hold the watch without having to do a thing to this, notice that it still makes that natural drop down curve preparing for the wrist. You're also going to appreciate the fact that you have dual keepers on here because you have a smaller wrist. Mm -hmm. So as Megan puts on the beautiful red version of this watch, it's going to be able to not just make it to the first keeper, but the second and hold it securely. So this is the number for the light blue, which is stunning. But take a look at how even this large watch, now in a different color, on a beautiful feminine wrist, takes on a whole different look and is as fiery as she is. You know what's funny is, I was thinking, these are men's watches, by the way, but as Wiley's talking about, they are curved enough and the construction that even though they wear like 50 millimeters on the wrist, they still size down to even under my six inches. You were showing me a photo of your son before the show and he was hiking. Mm -hmm. One of these watches would match what he was wearing. He kind of had that like red yes, and he blue did. shirt he was on. wearing a very American red, white, and blue shirt. Because he loves America. I just thought that, I just thought of him uh, with one of these watches. Because these are fun sport watches. These are the kind of watches that you guys and girls will wear when you just want something a little different. So that's why, here's the blue one that Wiley just showed off. And here I've got the red on my wrist. How cool would this be with a black shirt or a red shirt? Or I've even got a blue shirt on. I mean, I think, I think it's cool to take those fashion risks. And what's nice is that you're not spending a lot of money to do so, but you're still getting quality. You know, I think it's more common with clothing, for example. I know, mm -hmm. I don't want to name, but I mean, I'll just throw it out there. Like stores, retail stores like Forever 21 and H&M, stores like that that sell all sort of high fashion, trendy appearance clothing, mm -hmm. but the quality isn't all there all the time. I mean, well, I, I wear shirts like that on the shirt. You know, I like beautiful glasses. I'm wearing glasses. one of those shirts today. Right, and it's great stuff, but you also sort of go into it buying it saying like, okay, if I spend... X number of wares. Exactly. This is that price. So automatically you're thinking, well, all right, if I get a gear out of it, okay, fine. There's, There's a five-year warranty yeah. right away on the Swiss made movement inside. This is surgical grade stainless steel. So especially with our company owned brands like Alini, Swiss Legend, the Lucien Picard, you might see prices that do not belie the quality at all because these are throwaway prices perhaps, but the quality of the materials is mm -hmm. as though you were spending hundreds of dollars. So yeah, I mean, I, I know that mm -hmm. I'm glad that you're in the same school as I am as far as kind of that fashion. Mm -hmm. I think that with watches like this, we can sort of get jaded sometimes thinking, oh, it's only this, it's only this. But if you've never shopped with us before, keep in mind, do your research, look us up on the website, or even go to the mall using this Alini or any other watch. Let's use the Alini as an example here. Go to the mall and price out how much it would cost to get a watch that had a Swiss made movement, surgical grade stainless steel, and 100 meters of water resistance. Forget about the proprietary crystal, forget about the super luminova, forget about all those extras that are inside this watch. 
Go see how much it costs just to get a watch that has a Swiss made chronograph movement. And that right away, before anything else, will be more than the price of this watch right here. Just something to think about. A great collection, and I'm delighted that we're able to offer it to you in an even more adventuresome form with the beautiful light blue or the red. So give that consideration, and uh, let's show you a few more items before we get uh, too far into the show. We're actually... Are we halfway? Yes, we are. <laughs> we're going to do really? the top ten now. See, I love it. I mean, and he's being genuine. We are surrounded by clocks. We'll have watches everywhere. The guy has no idea what time it is. No clue. Every day. We're going to do a top ten. We are going to count down from ten to one the best-selling items of the show. We might see some items that have not aired yet, and we mm -hmm. might even see some items from yesterday's show, because all of those are still posted at worldofwatches.tv, mm -hmm. so you can shop yesterday's show. All right, let's see what number ten is. This is, this is a no surprise because the bundles that we have, if you're just now joining us, we actually have a few selections out there and they're going to be with our Swiss Legend brand that you're not getting one watch, but two for the price of the Abysos, which happens to be this super dive watch. If you're wondering how super is it, a thousand meters of water resistance, a thousand meters of water resistance. Not only are you getting that great dive watch, that Swiss made dive watch, you're also getting the Swiss Legend Neptune that has a Swiss movement on the inside. Not only are you getting both of those watches, you're getting a three slot watch box that's waterproof for that, those two watches as well as a friend watch, but you're also getting a watch winder for those watches. All of that for $2.99. Now this comes in other styles, varieties, and colors, so please consult the website. If this isn't just the right one, just for the fun of it, go ahead and take a look at the others anyway, because you may find another collection. You want more of them. So that's one that's certainly been doing very well. This watch just debuted about an hour ago, the Trevi Mechanical from Lucien Picard. You have a full mechanical timepiece for $150. So glad to see so many of you picking this up. It's a 44 millimeter case. The actual case and bezel itself with all of the machining and detail work, the only thing more beautiful is being able to look inside that textured dial and seeing the full skeletonized center portion that reveals the SK2610 Japanese mechanical movement. You will get a five year warranty on that. Wiley and I both agree we love that almost key style to the oversized screw down crown. It's going to make it a lot easier to wind your mechanical timepiece when you can actually get a good grip on that crown. Rose tone with a brown crockle embossed leather strap. 287811, $150, brand new, five payments of $30. One of our favorite watches happens to be the Bulova Champlain Precisionist. Now, this is the non chronograph version. It's the simple three hand, and I say simple, look at all of those design elements, whether it's the carbon fiber in the center of the dial, the pearlized decoration in the outer chapter ring, the expanded date window that gives you a glimpse into the date wheel, or even all the way down to the details of the knurling and machining around the coin edge, highly curved bezel and crystal to the infinity symbol, which is also the precisionist symbol, right there on the sweep hand. All of this in the world's most accurate quartz movement, accurate to within 10 seconds per year. Two, $329, usually $600 for this watch, $329.99. Only, get this, making magic for the holidays, $66 to get this. And that's one of the nicest bracelets and cases you're going to find in the watch world. Congratulations to all of you who are picking that up. You've done very well. Number seven, a brand new watch once again from Lucien Picard. This one, the Paragon Automatic. Again, you're looking at a 44 millimeter case, full skeletonized. But notice what they've done. They've skeletonized the dial. They have completely decorated the movement inside. But then they applied a skeletonized chapter ring that features Roman numeral hour markers. Niso Barocas himself, who was at the helm of these collections, came on the shows earlier today and yesterday and verified that all of that detail, all of that decoration and jeweling done to the movement is done by hand. Five year warranty, once again, it's $150. Use the stress free payments, $30, we'll get it home. 287-800, that's number seven. 
Number six is the 46 millimeter Swiss Legend Eograph. We have not seen this watch in so long. That is a beautiful watch, and the price point is incredibly low on it. What's nice about this is, gentlemen, you can wear a bigger watch at 46 millimeters, but it's got a slim line case design. So for the size, it's going to be a very slim watch. All 316L surgical grade steel. You have a Swiss made quartz chronograph movement inside. It's actually not this movement. The new movement that we use in this watch is the ISA 8172. So you will get this watch with the upgraded movement. 801525 five payments of $18. And speaking of which, here is the X1 chronograph gunmetal. Now, we showed you this watch just a little bit ago, and it is a gorgeous timepiece. Now, whether you want to wear this just to the office as your dress watch, or as I would suggest, this is the perfect everyday watch, comfortable all the way around, but it's also one of the watches that if you headed out on a serious adventure, whether you're hiking across country or going down to the ocean depths at 200 meters, this watch is going to take you there. And it certainly has that sporty flair and that dressy look. So wherever you're going, this watch is ready to go with you, and it is what I'm going to call casual luxury because you are getting a $3,000 watch for $1,199. Go ahead, go ahead and Google that. Go ahead and take a moment to see what the real value on that watch is. You're going to find that even our wow price of $2,549 is incredibly low for this, for this watch. Yesterday we aired this in silver tone, so that is still available on our website as well. But I like if you gentlemen go for the gunmetal variation. I think it's just a little bit different. All right, coming at number four, here's something interesting. The Lucian Picard Navona right now is only available in this color. I like that. I like that we're getting a little bit more custom with the colors that we're choosing to use on our brand. It's a 44 millimeter case. You've got the VD-53 Japanese chronograph quartz movement. Notice the chronograph subdials. Rather than being traditional hands coming out from a center pin, they're actually rotating discs. We have never done that before on a dial, or in a movement, I should say. So you've got that old world, almost two-eye chronograph look. All applied Arabic numeral hour markers in a rose tone to match the rose tone case and bezel. Here, you've got a black Croco embossed genuine leather strap. It's brand new. It debuted yesterday. Be the first people to get these watches. With the stress-free payments, you're at just $20 down. How this works is you put $20 down on any major credit card, we ship you the watch. You've got four more payments once a month after that. It's a flat of $20. That's it. That is all you'll pay. So what you see is what you pay. There's no interest with our payment plan. Item number 287711. That is number four. We are about to come into our top three and see what the three best-selling items of the show are. Do you have any idea? No, I have no idea what to expect. It's so cool because I am really excited about the fact that everybody has been jumping on these new Lucian Picards. You know, we were kind of joking before the show that it's a bit overwhelming because we have so many new variations and so many new collections. Like this one, number three, the, the Sultan. Sultan. You know, being able to spend some time with this watch yesterday, we went out to dinner, talked for a while. This watch <laughs> truly has so much details. We come back into that beauty shot and draw in a little closer. Look at that. Look at how the subdials almost seem to float over the skeletonized movement. Yet you can see right through them. It's a 45 millimeter case and it is just the right size. Yet the outer chapter ring where the Arabic numerals are and the second indices are still clear and vivid. And notice the hands actually reach out over it so that you can still tell the time fluidly. All of this for under $150. You know, the SK2696 movement in there is reliable and accurate. That Japanese multifunction, I mean, the Chinese multifunction that's in there is going to be one that lasts you for years to come. I love the fact that it's put it at this price point. Go ahead, stress free payments, and you're also going to have free shipping on that. So I love the fact that we have this watch. Brand new to the whole world. It's interesting that we actually went with something like a multifunction, which is obviously a much newer, more advanced movement. You mm -hmm. don't wouldn't see that on a vintage watch. But then the styling of the watch is so vintage and is so classic with that skeletonized dial that it's kind of the best of both worlds.
Yeah, I love this watch, and I, I think uh, a couple other folks in here picked it out as one of their favorites, too. This is number two. We haven't even aired this watch yet. Yeah, but everyone's looking at Michael Kors. This was scheduled for yesterday's show. We never even got a chance oh, to air it. The and you know, Lansing Chrono 220793. What were you going to say? The, just the quality of the Michael Kors watches. I think when he first made them, the, the, it entered a first tier of quality. Mm -hmm. But have you noticed it's, as the watches have gotten a little bit of time on them that there's the quality has gone up? Oh my gosh, yeah. Some of the new watches that we have are amazing. This is a 46 millimeter case. You have a Japanese chronograph quartz movement inside, all gunmetal. Couple pops of black and red and white inside the dial, 160 bucks or your first payment of $32. This is a brand new Michael Kors watch. Think about that. You will never ever beat our deals anywhere else. So this $275 Michael Kors is 160 bucks. Five payments of $32. 220793. And the number one seller, the Maurice Lacroix Miros Chronograph, one of my boyfriends favorite watches and he has a hard time deciding between this version or the version that's got the silver dial with the black subdial. So it's the opposite of this one. You know, with the with the Maurice Lacroix 5040B movement in there within this 39 millimeter case, you are getting quite a watch. In fact, that's the watch I have in my hand at the moment. And this also meets just like the Ebel that if I had to have one watch, the the comfort of this, mm -hmm. the style of this, the size of this, because it's a little larger than the entry level classic size for men, which is 38. If you want to go back to Rolex sizing, then a 36 would actually be still a gentleman, even a 34. But this is just the right size. Notice it's not too thick. Everything is solid link all the way around, but the curvature, even the slight curvature in the case makes it comfortable. It's one of the watches that the moment you put it on, you go, yeah, I could wear that all day. Absolutely beautiful. This is the configuration that I would choose, the black dial with that kind of silver or white tone that is coming through for the sub-dials. You have a large date complication, dual date wheel, large date complication. You don't have to have a Cyclops lens and able to see it. Three-hand configuration for time, hour, minute, continuously operating, small second sweep hand at the 2 o'clock. You have two additional sub-dials for our chronograph, which are easily and fluidly operated. Notice that's one-tenth of a second sub-dial at the 6 o'clock. Yep, that's a Swiss Ronda movement inside. And that is a fantastic movement in there because you know that that Ronda movement is going to really last. You've got generations of use out of this watch. I think it's one of these pieces that the moment you get it on the wrist, you realize, yep, I've got the right watch. And that's why we want to encourage you. With our stress-free, interest-free payments, go ahead and take a chance. We'll ship it to you for free. Open the box, check it out, see if it's everything we're telling you. If it's not, you send it back. We'll pay for the shipping for it to come back. Megan, is it's just a subtle thing to me, but the tachometer that is around the outer bezel, not on the inner, mm -hmm. just adds a sporty element. That, it's a dress watch. I mean, you look at it at a distance, you got a beautiful dress watch. Then you realize it's just not style. That's a functioning chronograph. And you can even, if you know how to use the tachymeter, use it for uh, measurement of distance. Yeah. Folks, you're not going to have to pay, listen to this, $1,700. That's what the list price is. We don't make that up. The, the wow price takes off $500 off of that. But look at what we've done for the show. Nothing is going to make us happier than knowing that no one is going to be able to touch our show price of $429. We'll guarantee it. In fact, you have a 30 day money back guarantee that we have the lowest prices possible. And you don't have to hunt for a coupon. Remember, we pay for shipping. Is there somebody, is there a special gentleman in your world or a lady, if this is the right watch for her, that you want to get that high end timepiece, a $1,700 timepiece, but you don't want to put any more than $70, $80, $90 out of pocket? Then put it on the stress free payment. We take care of the interest. You use our money, $86. That's all it takes to get it home. That's your first to five stress free, interest free payments. And this luxury watch comes to you. I mean, can you see this on a loved one's wrist? Is this a possibility of, of a this gift for somebody This is one of the ones I have on your... my list um, that I'm considering for Colin, actually. I got bad news for you. <laughs> it's going to sell out. <laughs> well, no, maybe. <laughs> but I'm going to think, because, you know, we get a discount here as the magical host of the oh, program. Oh, no, this is, a, this is the best deal right here at 4.30. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> sometimes we look at the price on the show and go, oh, I can't wait to see if we can get it for less. No. And <laughs> we can't. 
And that's not a lie. I mean, that's honestly going to cross the heart. That's, there's times we can't get less than what you're seeing. In fact, sometimes what you get is less than what we mm -hmm. get, and we have to buy it through the show. That's how close to actual cost you're getting for the watch. $429. Go ahead and consider this for your collection. Take a chance. It's not much of a chance. It's almost a guarantee you're going to love it. 286501 Maurice Lacroix Miros. You know what might be fun for people? I would love for folks who aren't familiar with Maurice Lacroix just to Google some of their other watches. Oh my God. And when they come up with not just the tens of thousands, but the hundreds of thousands they're of dollars, insane. they're it's going insane. To, they're going to come back and go, yeah, I'll take that Miros. <laughs> Well, because we know how much you gentlemen out there love your racing-inspired watches, how about a 47-millimeter glam rock with a Swiss-made quartz chronograph movement inside? Oh, I didn't realize this was a Swiss movement. Yep. Glam how rock? is that possible for $90? Because the list price is $600. Wow, we must have gotten a steal on these because nothing speaks of the Miami lifestyle. Like glam rock. The, the glam, literally. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, there's a few places on the planet where you're just going to run into the, the rich and famous. And you might be in New York, you might be in Los Angeles, or Miami. Yep. So here it is, right here in the heart of so many things that are happening. And here's a watch company that's decided to nestle themselves right in the middle of it all and say, we're going to bring that style and pop to you. These are the type of watches that you're going to see in the fashion magazines. You're going to see the rich and famous wear. Because if they're going to, you know, just pick up a fashion bobble, uh, dropping $600 is nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, truly, how yeah, many... Yeah, this is a knock-around watch for some. How many times have you and I been driving, you know, just cruising around in your convertible, and... The wind in our hair. <laughs> I, that's why I keep it in the box. <laughs> and you suddenly see... <laughs> Thank you for that <laughs> gratuitous laughter. Suddenly you see a, a Rolls Royce, uh, a, a high-end Mercedes, a Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. There is a lifestyle that's down here that is completely different than the rest of the planet. Here, they're pulling from that glamorous lifestyle for those folks that love their cars. The racetrack has a race-inspired look. Even the piston-style pushers are really like pistons. If you ever look at a piston in a V6 or V8 engine, when one side is down, the other side is up. Now, these constantly stay in this configuration, but it's truly like a piston. And there's gear-like um, touches all the way through. Now, you truly have that sporty look with a tachymeter-style bezel. Easy-to-read instrumentation on here like you would find in a, a race car. And look, even like you'll find when they do to lighten the weight of a vehicle, just like if you think of Zeppelins of old or airships or even airplanes, they would take out what was unnecessary. Well, they do that in race cars, too. They stamp out the metal that's not needed for reinforcement or strength. Doesn't that look good? You know what's cool is look at the 12 o'clock subdial. I'm going to start the chronograph. Mm -hmm. The 12 o'clock subdial actually is two subdials in one. It's a 12 hour oh. ring and a 30 minute totalizer. Yeah, if you can move that hand out of the way a little bit, you'll be able to see. Now you have to start the chronograph again. That's I okay. But you can actually see that Swiss made chronograph, they actually combine two subdials into one at the 12 o'clock position. So you could actually use your chronograph to time something for up to 12 hours, but both of those things will be reflected inside that 12 o'clock subdial. So instead of cluttering this up with multiple mm -hmm. subdials, which they could have done, and you know what we saw that on, I hate to, you know, Breitling used. Sometimes they can be very busy. Yeah, but they've also done this type of style of using two. Oh, the Transocean, yeah. Yes, so that's kind of cool. Folks, you know, I'm showing you this watch on the hand. Let me show it to you on the wrist so you get an idea of just how this sporty flair translates on the wrist. And, you know, as a car guy, we have some great car shows in Daytona Beach. And, oh, yeah. You know, the turkey rod run goes on there. And there are five to 7,000 cars brought in, and they're taken to the speedway. Oh, my God. So even if you spend a second or two looking at all the customized cars, you can't see them all. This is the watch you want to wear. Yeah. If you're going to NASCAR, if you're going, I don't care if you're going to What about to the Le Mans. Homestead Speedway? That's what this oh, yeah. is probably inspired by. Well, think about Le Mans or any of the other, you know, race tracks or particular races. This is that watch that is so race inspired you'd feel comfortable, you know, right there with it. And it has that very uh, fast moving lifestyle. And that's kind of the homage to Glam Rock is all things fast. The strap reminds me almost of like perforated racing gloves. Yes, you've said that before uh -huh. with one of the... Uh, Red lines. Yes, and the Raymond Wilde. That's the homage to the Healy. Yep, that's what it reminds me of. This is a good-looking watch, folks. And for under $90, let me just stress this to you, $18 gets this watch home.
a $600 watch brought to you for 18 bucks. And Glamrock is sold where Techno Marine, Michael Kors, it's sold in the high-end department stores. A screw down back on this. You're not going to be afraid of getting this out there anywhere. It really does look good. Quick mention here of item number 266544. We have so many things to get to. And this Graham Chrono Fighter 1695, I know how much you love this mm -hmm. watch. It's a 42 millimeter case. Now keep in mind it is going to wear larger than that because you've got the oversized trigger on the left hand side or the nine o'clock side of your dial. That means because it's a lefty, your movement is in there upside down and backwards. How cool is that? It's a 25 joule in-house built automatic movement inside. You've got a 48 hour power reserve on there. Think about that. Two full days of power with a full wind. Swiss made watch, of course, 50 meters of water resistance, 266544. And perhaps one of the coolest things about these Graham watches is the fact that the packaging is so on point. 266544, the Chrono Fighter 1695. That's a beautiful watch. Mm -hmm. I'm glad we have that type of luxury. Speaking of luxury, how about Jean Richard? The Aeroscope, just like with many of their brands, you know, they're trying to pull from different, uh, whether it is land, sea, air, or space. Here's something pulling from the the aviation industry. The Aeroscope is one of those watches that the moment you pick it up, you realize something is unique about it because it is so lightweight. And that's because the watch is made of grade five titanium. And that titanium is going to be so tough and it's going to really, really add to the luxury of the watch. Now it's an all Swiss made watch. And because of the, the black that you're seeing, that's not IP plating, that is sandblasted DLC coating or diamond like carbon, diamond like coating that is on the watch. Simply stated, that makes the case not just lightweight, that incredibly durable finish that's on there. I can't tell you that you can never damage it or you can never scratch it, but it is as scratch resistant as the sapphire crystal. Have people shattered their sapphire? Sure you can, just like you can shatter a diamond if you hit it just right. But the scratch resistance that's within this, I have a very sharp titanium pointer right now, and as I dig in to push into that watch and to really see if I can scratch it, oh my goodness, there's just a little bit of a stomach churning there, but you know what, nothing. It's not going to do it. It's going to look that good. Look, there's almost looks like there's no crystal there at all. That is how high quality that crystal is. It almost looks like this is floating on there. 49 millimeter case. The tri compacts design, which simply means it has the three sub dials, really does look stunning. The JR 66 movement, which is a 43 joule automatic, looks great. 42 hours of power reserve. I'm going to slip this on my wrist because I want you to see how this wears on the wrist. Now, take a look at that. I think that looks fantastic. You know, of all the color variations and styles that we have in these watches, these leather straps are my favorite. I love these leather straps. I know you love the bracelet versions, mm -hmm. but I love the leather straps. Well, I do I like this. I think because maybe it looks more vintage, and you know, I, I sort of go for that. Well, and you take a peek at this, and you realize that, you know, it's all blacked out. But that pop of color throughout the bezel, oh, that's a beautiful shot, guys. Mm -hmm. And the Arabic numerals, the hands, there's just the pop of white, and they carried it through with the stitching. So, yes, there is a vintage feel to this watch, but if you go back in time, you're not going to find grade 5 titanium. Oh, no. You're not going to find the DLC or the diamond-like carbon coating. Now, you'll notice it's a three-hand configuration, the hour, the minute, and a continuously operating small seconds. I'm going to give this a bit of a wind, and you can see the small seconds uh, moving right there at the 3 o'clock position. Two additional sub-dials at the 6 and 9 o'clock position, all of this giving you a fully functioning chronograph. You can see there's a bit of a satin finish on the dial, on the bezel, and through part of the case, some of the case is high mirror polished black diamond light coating, and the others are going to be in that satin finish, but it's all titanium. Folks, $5,600. That is a lot of money for a watch, but you can get it for $1,399 with us. Go ahead and try to find it for that price anywhere else. Only $280 gets it home. That's your first of five stress-free, interest-free payments. Folks, I love this watch. Now, my favorite version of this is the all-titanium, both bracelet and case. You can find that on our website. But right now, finding it with us in this black 
coating, the diamond-like coating on there, is truly a winner. 276396, you're going to be able to get the Jean Richard Aeroscope. Beautiful. We've only got a couple minutes left in this hour. I wanted us to make sure we had an opportunity to get to the Raymond Weil Maestro Automatic. Oh. What I love so much is when I own a Raymond Weil, and I think our deals on them are pretty mm -hmm. incredible. We take thousands of dollars off Raymond Weil watches. And so this watch that retails for $28, nearly $3,000 is $1,000 right now and even better than that it's on five payments five easy payments right away what you're looking at is a 41 millimeter case with a beautiful beautiful dial now inside you'll notice you've got a two eye chronograph appearance that is a gorgeous almost vintage like appearance it's the raymond weil 7230 automatic movement that is a modified salita automatic movement that Raymond Weil decorates and then gives their own stamp on. And I want you to focus quickly, if we can, on the movement inside so you can see how that looks. I want you to see that beautiful rotor right there. There we go. Thank you so much. You can see it is a 30 joule automatic movement, Swiss made, of course. But looking back at the dial, what's so beautiful about this? One are the furnace blued Breguet style hands. Right away you have something that already has that old world feel. But when Raymond Wilde designed the maestro, maestro means master, they wanted something that was a true masterpiece of a timepiece. Let me just reset the chronograph there. So you can see your continuous running seconds are at the three o'clock subdial and that your chronograph does work to time something for up to a full 30 minutes. Look at the beautiful texturing done on the center chapter of the dial and the subtle ring of texture on the outer edge where your hour markers are placed. You've got a step down bezel design. Look at the high mirror polish. You can even see the different cameras in our studio. And then that true multi-link bracelet. The multi-link bracelet is unique here in the sense that it is so, so flexible and pliable. Look at that. It's almost like steel silk and yet there's no kinking, there's no binding, and look at this multi-link, multi-row bracelet. I happen to think this is a truly awesome timepiece. And I love that a $2,800 Swiss-made watch can be yours if you can set aside $200 a month. Now, I know that you're thinking, all right, well, it's not just $200, but think about it in the sense of all of the watches that we've shown you in the past two hours, how many of them were 200 bucks? So let's say you tuned into this show with Wiley and I and purchased one watch a month and you spent about $200 a month. You could amass a really cool collection of all different sorts of watches or you could just buy one watch and pay it off over five months. That's worth 2,800 bucks that you'll have for the rest of your life and even then perhaps will it down beyond you. So I just wanted to end with something like that. Isn't it nice? It is beautiful. Very similar to my Lucian Picard that I chose as my top pick. <laughs> well, we are in our third and final hour together. We will remind you of all of these amazing oh. Lucian Picard watches, which have not only been debuted yesterday and today on the show, but are in the, they're pretty much dominating our top ten and every single hour, and with good reason, of course. It's kind of fun, and I know we talk about this, mm -hmm. that we're showing watches that are super high-end, Nearly oh, $3,000. Yes. We've got some Breitling coming up. We have these super high-end Swiss-made watches mm -hmm. that are thousands of dollars. And then for most of us, and we put ourselves in this camp, mm -hmm. for those of us that maybe can't spend thousands of dollars on a whim right now, we've got watches like these Lucian Picards oh, and beautiful. some of these amazing timepieces mm -hmm. that are under $200, or in this case, the most expensive one, which is $300, but on five payments. And it's that affordable luxury. So even if you can't quite get this, we have something that's still going to give you that same look, that same feel, mm -hmm. but it's also going to have a lot of that same quality. So let's Absolutely. jump into a preview of what's coming up in our third hour. Oh, well. I don't even speak anymore when the bright links come on the screen. Why? Because, because I know these are your watches. Oh, thank you. My people. <laughs> I'd like to speak to my people now. <laughs> Hello, luxury watch lovers. The Transocean Chronograph 
is absolutely beautiful in the 38 configuration. Now, that means that the watch is actually 38 millimeters, which is just the right size for my wrist. And, this and is, mine. And Megan's, <laughs> or almost anybody's, really, because it does. it's a gorgeous watch. Now, instead of having the Breitling B01 movement in it, this has the Breitling B41. It's a 30 jewel automatic. The watch has 100 meters of water resistance. And you're going to really appreciate the fact that this certified chronometer still has 42 hours of power reserve in that small case. Again, one of the most beautiful bracelets in the watch world is created by Breitling for this watch. This watch celebrates that occasion of crossing the Atlantic, not by ship, but for the first time by air. The watch has a vintage feel all the way around, and it has a quality that is certainly 21st century. You're going to love how this looks on the wrist, and you're going to love the fact that you're going to get it for less than half of the retail price. Is it used? Absolutely not. It is brand new in the box with every warranty, every paper, and everything you would get, just like the Breitling store, except for the full price. $3,199.257170. In just a few moments, gaze at the Breitling Transocean 38. And another one of those brand new Lucian Picards. This is the Trevi oh. Mechanical. This is the 45 millimeter mechanical timepiece. This black and gold and silver tone. This, look at how old world this feels. Just looking into the dial. Skeletonized dial showing you that Chinese autumn, excuse me, that Chinese mechanical movement comprised of 200 pieces alone. $150 or your first payment of $30. $287,812. Now, regretfully, we did not air the women's variation of the Ritmo Mundo Corinthian chronograph last hour. But, oh, this is the women's variation. It's a 40 millimeter. Me. I did not see you that. You can't tell from the picture. This is why we do the live stuff, because the Ritmo Mundo watches have such style and exaggeration to them. It might be tough for you and for us to tell size until it's in our hands. I can't wait to try this one. Have you not done this watch? No. Oh, well, you... Mm. I like it a lot. I always like the big size, too, so I'm glad because, you know, when it's in the 47, it's still a little large for my wrist. So this one is great. 276502. It's a 40 millimeter for the ladies. But when you see this, this is perfect because we've all liked the Ritmo Mundos. 286525. Quick reminder of my hot pick, the 38 millimeter Ponto Star Side. You have 91 points, so you're just under a full carat of diamonds in a hand built Swiss made watch. It's a multi function calendar. So you get your month, your day, your calendar date, and the true moon phase complication. Gorgeous timepiece here, and a $17,000 one at that. This is for the lady like myself that appreciates horology. Not only are you going to get something that is incredibly beautiful and designed so well, but something that really is a work of art. Now here it is on my wrist, so you can really see those diamonds around the bezel. The diamonds going across the dial. I love the two-piece dial. You've got the lunar phase complication at the 12 o'clock position. I've had I've set it to reflect a full moon, so you can see how that would look there. It's just stunning. And then look at the little crescent moons. Look at the diamonds going across. I mean, this is stunning. A diamond in your crown. These little buttons on the sides of the case will help adjust all of those multifunction features. Thirty-three hundred dollars. Nothing to sneeze at. Even with five payments, $660 a payment, but it's a $17,000 watch. 286525 for the Maurice Lacroix Pontos Starside. We will have another variation of this to mention later on in the show with the dial that instead of being black and pink like my hot pick, is black and gold. 286525, $3,300 or your first payment of 660 we only have a handful of these to go around I know we've already sold a few I think we're now down to less than five so please ladies do not delay all right all right here it is I want you to but your watch is pretty <laughs> but can it do this does it have twirly things on the front? No, it has no twirly things. And that's a technical term here. I don't want to get technical. <laughs> the Lucien Picard Matador Automatic is one of those stunning watches that whether you choose it both in the silver version or in the stunning gold, you are getting a limited edition piece. Now, the number you're seeing, I'm going to tuck that behind our graphic. The number you're seeing is for this watch right here. There are only 200 of these for the planet. Now, they come in even closer. I want you to see what you're going to visually love. Look at that. Absolutely 
beautiful. Now what you're staring into not only is that beautiful textured dial, but you also have right here your uh, hours, your minutes, you have a 24 hour indicator, you also have a secondary time zone, GMT hand, a Greenwich Mean Time hand. You have two beating hearts with two working barrels as well as a power reserve indicator. Flipping the watch over, you're able to see into that beautiful automatic movement. And of course, that rotor is going to power the watch. So simply the motion of your wrist is going to cause this to stay active. Notice it is a limited edition. This is number 23 of 200. That's it. 7 billion people and only 200 get this color, 200 get the others, and then this design is put to pasture, never to be made again. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. 200 parts, 200 parts to make this watch. It's kind of interesting because most of the time we're used to talking about Breitlings and Omegas and all of the different pieces oh, yeah. that make the movements up, and those are $10,000 watches. Here, it's a $350 price with that same sort of level of quality and care. Are you kidding? 42 joule movement the on the inside. 44 hours of power reserve. Not 36, not 38. 42, 44 hours. 50 meters of water resistance, all because, you know, the, the fine craftsmanship. And, of course, that movement, the 2HR851 movement, is, is really incredible. I love this watch, and uh, it's why I picked it as my top pick. And I've got to add this to my collection, too. I love this watch. I want to show you the rose tone variation. We've kind of gone back and forth here. We're all having a really hard time. I just want to set this oh, so it looks pretty. So beautiful. We're all having a really hard time deciding which one we like the best. And it's really difficult. You know what I love and I appreciate? And Niso has talked about this for about a year now. Mm -hmm. We're starting to come out with these new collections. And you'll notice we're offering everybody variation. But oh, we're yes. not doing 900 different colors. We're keeping it a bit more exclusive. Mm -hmm. It's not 200 of this and 200 of this and then 200 of this and then 200. It's 400, 200 of rose, and 200 of silver tone. So it's very special because that's more along the lines of what high-end watch manufacturers do and what they offer. So I really think it's quite interesting that we're starting to follow suit with that, but we never want you guys at home to feel that sort of price gear, uh, price increase. I'm going to wind the crown a bit more. You, you can, can see, see it moving. Yeah, notice the little power reserve indicator. I'm giving it a full wind, and that's how you'll know when you've reached that, would you say, 46 hours? It is 44 hours of 44. power reserve. You are almost at two full days with a full wind. And what's nice, and I am so OCD crazy, so I would probably do this, is that a little power reserve feature works like a gas gauge. So as time is going and you're losing more and more power inside your movement, just like a gas gauge, that will slowly begin to move its way towards that 7 o'clock position. So beautiful. if it were me, I'd just always keep it wound. You can't overwind an automatic movement. You can overwind a mechanical, which we do have some of those, of course. But with this, you could wind this forever, and nothing's ever going to happen to it because there's a clutch. Notice, once again, and you can see it a little easier on the silver tone, the pops of red and then the hand that's blue. That pop of red right there, that's a GMT hand. So here we have it set for 1,400 hours or 2 p.m., so you could set that using the military equivalent of the currently displayed hours, or you could have it here, as we do, as a completely different time zone. That is really, really interesting to me that we're giving you that sort of opportunity to do either. Lucian Picard is now upgrading their buckles. It's a pry open, dual deployant clasp on there. Look at the Cote de Genève done on the rotor and then embossed in silver tone. It says Lucien Picard. And 19, Perlage in the background, too. Yep, 1923, limited edition, each one numbered. So special here. Now, it's a 46 millimeter case, as Wiley said. Sorry, I know it's getting out of focus. I just wanted you to see the case is thicker. It's got to accommodate a lot of watch in here. It's about 16 millimeters in thickness alone. But... Thankfully, it's on a leather strap, so it's quite comfortable to wear. And I'll tell you right now, it doesn't feel like a heavy watch at all. Here's how it plays on my six-inch wrist. The elongated lugs do go edge to edge of my wrist, but what's nice is, look, Ooh. 
There's no gapping and no spacing. So it does allow for a very good fit on even a six inch wrist. And then the strap itself will accommodate up to a nine inch wrist. I love that. Look at that decoration. It almost looks like snake skin. I can't figure out whether I like the silver or the gold. It's hard. I mean, I'm really struggling because when I see them in person, I go, oh, maybe the silver. And then I look at it on TV and I go, oh, the gold is. It's I gorgeous, mean, right? But you know what? That's one of the things people can shop with confidence. If they get one home and they decide they want to swap out to the other one. Absolutely. We're going to pay for the transportation. All you have to do is make the decision. 283090 for the black and rose. Only 200 were made for the world. Yeah, that's phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Well, let me slip on my watch while we take a moment to look at something, well, um, a, a slightly different price. It's, it's one of my favorite watches. I can't say it is the favorite, but I, I do love our Breitling watches. Now, when you get the packaging home, Let's say you've ordered one of the Breitlings. You're going to get a, a box from us, and it's going to have all the fluff and stuff in it that's going to ensure that uh, you know, your watch is well protected. It's brand new in the box, but if you've never seen in one of the Breitling boxes, well, this is time to add one to your collection. Here it is. You open that up, and what do you get? It's like those Russian dolls where it's like a doll oh, within a doll. <laughs> yes, it's just it's all the anticipation of more boxes. and more good stuff. And so many of their watches come in exactly this pouch right here. When you open it up and you realize, oh my goodness. The, the Breitling Transocean 38 is one of those watches. Now, it's telling you the size right there. It's a 38 millimeter watch. So it has the Breitling B41 movement, which is a different movement than the Breitling B01. The Breitling B01 happens to be... Uh, a movement too large for this case. You'll find it in the Transocean uh, in the larger sizes. The 38 is ready to accommodate the B41 movement. There's 100 meters of water resistance. In fact, you're also going to have a certified chronometer, 42 hours of power reserve within this watch, all within this 30 joule automatic. And it has one of the most beautiful bracelets in the watch world. And if you can see, I want to just turn that at just the right angle. Notice how the crystal stands up, and that looks like Hesalite. When they were making watch crystals no longer out of glass, but a form of plastic, they used something called Hesalite, and that's going to be in vintage watches. This is an homage to Hesalite, but it is sapphire. So it's going to be virtually impossible to scratch this, and it's going to be looking like this for years and years to come. I think it looks absolutely wonderful. As they go to the beauty shot just for a moment, I've got to take the watch out because it's got to be on the hand, it's got to be on the wrist, and that's really where the watch shines. Now, if you're wondering, does the Transocean celebrate, you know, ocean liners? No. This is the occasion not crossing the Atlantic or the Pacific with uh, ships, but with airplanes. And in that time when that was such a, a, a glamorous way to travel, people dressed for the occasion. Well, in celebration of that, you can even see the homage to the planes on the back and the stylized uh, plane monikers on the back. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Now, let me stress to you that occasionally, very, very rarely, we'll be able to present to you a, a product that has been pre-owned or maybe it's a display model. These are all brand new that you're seeing right now. Now, what you're getting within that automatic movement, of course, is a three-hand configuration, the hour, the minute, you notice it'll be continuously operating sweep hand at the three o'clock position, reverse date wheel at the six o'clock position to give you the date, simply hitting the pusher at the two o'clock is gonna start our chronograph, stop, and there's the reset. Now, that is a beautiful movement and one of the most fluid bracelets in the watch world. Now, if you have a smaller wrist and you don't wanna be carrying around all of that stainless steel. Notice as we get to the bottom that there's actually links there that very ingenious on Breitling's part. They've made links out of that woven metal and you're able to take those out and then only leave what you need, which is going to be the woven. Let me show you this on the wrist. You've got to take a peek and see how easily this slips on and just as they pull that camera back just a bit, you're going to be able to see how it fits a six and three quarter inch wrist and then the lovely and talented Miss Megan will slip it on her wrist and suddenly it takes on a whole new femininity. Did I tell you that? Oh, I didn't tell you this. Last week I was at uh, the nail salon and there was a girl sitting next to me wearing the two-tone Chronomap 41. What did you think? Oh my God. Well, I, I was 
I love her. I, did want, you, I want to be did you, her. Did you comment on it? <laughs> Whoever like she is, yeah, I did. Well, you wear these watches all the time. You just don't get to wear them out of the building. I don't get to wear them out of this room. Well, think about it. How often <laughs> do you all have a, an armed guard standing over you? <laughs> Take a look right You don't know here. what I do in my personal life. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I am so not going to go there. I love you. The Breitling Transocean 38 looks great on my wrist, but I want you to see this on Megan's wrist, just to see really how this watch, which can be very, very masculine, can also take on a very feminine touch. Even the larger version of these watches look great on ladies' wrists. Yeah, I think because it's one of those brands that is so iconic and everyone knows that, gentlemen, whether you're going for the under 40 millimeter or ladies, you're going for the larger case sizes overall. I mean, this is the perfect fit. How many watches have we aired of ladies' watches recently that are 38, larger. 39? I'm wearing 40. a 44 millimeter on the other wrist. What's nice about this, and I know I'm making a joke about it, but it is true. It is one of those watches that you could sort of share with your spouse, your significant other, because you could set this as many times as you needed to as far as the bracelet is concerned. 257170. $3,200, but again, use the payments. Why not? The total list price of this watch is $6,800, but your first payment is just $640. It's like less than 10%. How, imagine that. It's less than 10% to make your first payment. 257-170. You know, there are just some names out there that stand out. There's something about what they have to offer. I mean, in the watch world, whether or in the jewelry world or in the diamond world, there's just a name. When you say Cartier, what do you think of? Do you not think of, of jewelers and craftsmanship just beyond words? I mean, this is, this is one of those pieces that is going to be so, so tough. I mean, if, if you try to go to the retail world and you perchance, you know, when you take a look at this and you realize, oh my goodness, absolutely stunning. Now, you're just seeing the packaging at the moment. But, of course, you're going to get, you know, all the paperwork that comes with it. I can imagine only a Cartier would have Give something a, like a that, book? that looks like a <laughs> library book that comes with it. And that's incredible. But as Megan does our wonderful reveal. Uh, now, I want to mention something that I know our graphics don't show today. This is a store display model. So there is only one of these available in this Cartier Roadster. Now, take advantage of the amazing discount reserved for this store display model. Store display models have never been worn. They are 100% authentic and they are purchased exclusively from authorized dealers. So this is a watch that will be brand new to you, is not a watch that was returned and refurbed. It's a store display model. You will get a two-year warranty on this. And I know we mentioned this, we touched on this lightly yesterday on the show, but it's true. And I know my big time watch collectors out there will agree with me. Most true watch collectors will argue and tell you that you don't need all brand new watches all the time. No. If you're going to buy a Lamborghini, if you're going to buy a Rolls Royce, often people will have something that has had a, a little bit of life before it arrives to you. Yeah, what did you joke about yesterday saying like, oh, he bought a used Bentley, how sad for him? You know, Cartier, nobody, nobody says that. <laughs> Cartier has been fine craftsmen of jewelry and watches since 1847. That's getting back there. I just have to slip if, this if, on my wrist. Do you really? I'm going to use the little cushion. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Cartier Caliber 3110 in-house built automatic movement. You've got this beautiful, beautiful to no shape case. Now, for a lot of people, and I wrote my boyfriend into this, this is a grail watch. Oh, yes. This is, thank you for adjusting the graphics, this is a dream watch for many, many people out there. In my opinion, the Roadster and the Tank are two of Cartier's most recognized designs and some of the most recognized watch designs, I think, in the entire watch world. You know when someone's wearing a Cartier, just like you know when somebody's wearing a Rolex, even if you know nothing, or a Movado, even if you know nothing about watches, 
you know the style, you know the iconic look. And that's what you get here. All silver tone, slim line design, obviously a men's watch, but given that it's that true classic size, this is the kind of thing that everyone can wear and enjoy. And again, there is absolutely nothing wrong with a store display model. It's still brand new. It has never been worn before. You're also going to save over $3,200 to get a store display model. Now, I don't know about you, but I would be totally fine with that because it still looks brand new. Check out the payments. When in the world have you ever, I'm going to slide this off and pass it over to Wiley. It has a dual deployment clasp on there. You can see its own individual serial number. When in the world have you ever thought about the fact oh. that you could get, I know it's nice, right? Oh, that's real nice. That you could get a Cartier Roadster home for $800. <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry. Well, are you graphic, covered by the graphic? I was, it's kind of like, this looks great, doesn't it? <laughs> Sorry, I was just moving the graphic out of the way a little bit. This, this, we could do that thing. Yeah, it, might, it would be great if that worked that way, but not here. What are they doing? Are they mining? Just we, we, uh, when, where am I going with this? When was the last time? I'm, it's hard to be serious about this, but it's with true. With me. <laughs> Go ahead, Mick. I'm listening. Imagine you walk into that Cartier store. Now, I love Cartier, not just for their watches, but for their incredible jewelry. They have oh, this yes. line of jewelry where they use, you know, I love animal print and all that. Uh -huh. They have these, like, solid gold bracelets and bangles. The tigers? Yes. Oh, my God, I die for those. Like, I, I dream about those. Cartier, everyone knows Cartier. Can you imagine going into the Cartier store, buying this Roadster? Let's say in the Cartier store, they were going to sell you their store display model. They're never going to sell it to you for dealer's cost. We're just a hair above dealer's cost. And think about this. You will never, ever, ever get this on interest-free payments anywhere else. Because even if, and I've been into jewelry stores, Breitling store, Omega will do this, you can open their credit card, their store credit card. The interest on those is like 26 to 30%. Mm -hmm. By the time you're done paying this watch off, it's twice what you paid for it. And there is such high mirror polish. You know, I'm, I love how this looks. I love this exaggerated cyclops that is at the 3 o'clock position that is for the date that seems to reach out right to the crown. It really is stunning. As they're coming in closer, they'll maybe get a, oh, that's perfect. Go ahead and pull that shot right there and let folks see, see how that looks. See how easy it is to see the date even from this distance? This is one of those watches, and I apologize for all of our fingerprints on here, but it really does look incredible. And the fact that you're getting this at a fraction of the price. And you know what? There's just some watches that open doors because if you're wearing it, people assume you paid full price. You don't find a big sale tag on Cartier. And the fact that we have it just like we have, well, can I tell them? Hublot's coming right around the corner. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if this isn't the right watch, if this is just too dressy for you, well, we got something that is going to, um, it has quite a bang to it. So we'll show you that in just a second. You like that transition? Oh, Big yeah. Big Bang King Black Magic. <laughs> That's his screen name. It should be. <laughs> At AOL.com. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be on our steel and leather site. You just wait. <laughs> if you don't know what that means, you should have been watching earlier. Go ahead and watch the rerun. <laughs> Megan can explain it. We happen to like Hublot. In fact, it's, it taunts us because there is a billboard here in town that every time we drive by, it says, you don't have one. And it really it, does. And it's always like Dwayne Wade or one of the yes. big athletes modeling the, the Hublots. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Unless you drive this car, which is a Lamborghini, <laughs> you don't have one. Why would you do that? Because the watch is $17,000 and most people cannot just drop that kind no, of money. No, that's a car. Yes, it is. <laughs> So when you look at the watch and you realize why in the world, okay, there is so much going on with this watch. You know, it's a 44 millimeter case and the Hublot 1400 series uh, movement is inside. It's a 23 joule automatic. The watch is 16 millimeters thick and it's a ceramic and titanium case. Absolutely stunning. 
300 meters of water resistance. That tells you the quality and construction of the case. It was Ublo back in the day, 1981, that created the natural rubber strap. It took them three years to come up with a configuration that was just right, durable, and supple enough that they considered it for their watch. When they went to Basel World, which is the Basel Watch Fair back then, no one took interest in the watch. It took days and days before somebody came around and said, tell us about what you got, Ublo. Well, Pretty soon it caught on, and you know, if you don't know the history, Ublo is now one of those um, paramount luxury watch manufacturers that's just on the cutting edge of what is fashionable, trendy, and casual luxury. Now they certainly have solid gold and high-end pieces. Here is an everyday watch. Can you imagine your everyday watch being the $17,000 <laughs> watch? I'm hoping one day. You know, if, if you want to have the look and the feel of the lifestyles of the rich and famous, or God bless you, if you are one of the rich and famous, well, we're going to save you some money today, too, because even rich folk like to save money. It's how they stay rich. Absolutely. Here is a $17,000 watch for $8,999. Uh, now, when you look at this watch and you realize... You know, by the way, the word Ublo literally means porthole because that's the style that they've used both in their original configuration with the bezel on the watch as well as with their watch box, which is also a beautiful box. The watch has 42 hours of power reserve. It's one of those watches that's all Swiss made, sapphire crystal, and it's one of those pinnacle pieces. It's, it's one of the watches that if you've longed for and you're thinking, well, okay, I do have some disposable cash, but I don't want to put it all out right now before the holidays. Even folks of means certainly don't want to throw all the money out the door on the same day. So how much you put $1,740 down? That's stress-free interest rate. Once again, I say this on occasions and it doesn't necessarily stick. Go to the bank. Tell them you want $8,700. You don't want to sign any paperwork and you don't want to pay any interest. And you're going to take five months to pay it off. Not going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. But you can call. But if it does, wow, good on you. <laughs> yeah, but you let us know who that person is. <laughs> what bank you go to? 877-969-8818. Uh, <laughs> call that number. Tell them you want 278496 and you only want to put $1,740 down. That will allow you to get this watch home in just the next few days. You can pay off the rest over the next you can pay off the rest in the next few months and you can have a pinnacle piece like the Ublo home to you brand new in the box for 50% off. Let's just say it right there. 50% off for a Ublo. I mean, it's when you talk about wh where you work, I mention uh, like when I'm name dropping like about World of Watches, I'll use Breitling, Ublo, Omega. Cuz you have to say something examples. that people recognize. Exactly. And people go, oh my God, wow. And then I'll tell them about pre-owned. Because on our, we have a section on our website. I know we aired the Roadster today. But we have a section, and we're going to start putting maybe one or two watches a show that are either store display models or pre-owned watches. So we do have Cartier and Rolex and other items there. But, I mean, I know, I'm sure you do the same. We could talk about it with the Eterna. I mean, when you tell someone, yes, you can get a Ublo watch for 50% off. You can get a Breitling watch for, you can get an Eterna for like 80% off. I mean, it's kind of crazy. Here is a $6,500 watch. A handmade, hand decorated, Swiss made watch by one of the foundation companies. Eterna started building watches in 1856. Now this mechanical watch, very simple on its display. It doesn't even have a date complication. It is just a simple three-hand, hour, minute, and a continuously operating sweep hand. Beautiful dial, simplistic in design, natural curvature. Look at the curvature in the sapphire crystal. There, of course, is the uh, eternal logo. But as you flip it over, you see that there is another. That's gorgeous. So beautiful. And as I hold that right there, Megan is going to reach over, and I want you to see all the gears. And here's the watch coming to life. Love it. Look at all of those gears in the tiniest capacity. Notice the Cote de Genève, the Geneva waves running up and down in the vertical fashion right from top to bottom. And you see the watchmaker's decoration. Now, eventually she's going to get to the point yeah, where she's winding to. that and it just starts to, it, it'll start to kick back. Do not wind it past that. No, 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 no. 
I believe those are furnace. The magic voice is asking, we're seeing blue within there. Those furnace blue screws, we often see furnace blue used on hands. I believe they have used it here in the screws, or at least an homage to that. Now, sometimes people ask, what do jewels mean, such as a, if a watch has jewels within it? One of the hardest substance out there, of course, is diamond. Well, diamond can be very expensive to use within a watch. So what happens is the parts that maybe are making contact within the watch need some sort of lubrication. Well, you can't put oil in there. Well, you could, but only minute amounts, and you'd have to have constant servicing. One of the hardest substances is sapphire and ruby. They're chemically the same thing, just different colors. But what happens is they're so hard, they can be put between two pieces that might be friction on metal, where metal would wear away. Well, that jewel would not. So at points of contact or friction, either the ruby or sapphires are placed at contact points to take up the friction, thus reducing the wear and keeping the watch more accurate because it flows and moves more smoothly. So that explains the jewels inside. The color you're seeing there is actually furnace blue screws, which is a luxury item because it's expensive to manufacture. That's why it's a $6,500 watch. Now take a look at this, even from a distance, it looks incredible. $1,249.99. You'll notice that there is a dual push button, single scissor deployant, and I'm gonna easily slip this on my wrist and you can see how that plays on there. I think it looks great. This is so vintage. You're also gonna love the genuine alligator strap. And because it does have the deployant, this, the metal parts down here are gonna do the work. You don't wanna take an expensive strap like this and run it through a buckle day in and day out. With this, simply setting it to the right size, you allow the mechanism to do the work. It clicks into place and you put almost little to no stress over here. So this will last for generations, not just years. Do you like this one? I do love this one very much. You know, it's funny yeah. as I whipped out my handy little calculator and I figured out that with our price, you could buy five of these watches and you'd still have a few hundred dollars left over from the retail price of just one. That is five. absolutely incredible. Five of them, and you'd still have about $300 left over. You know, I don't want to give secrets away, but occasionally. <laughs> but you will. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, I don't tell secrets, but except for this one. <laughs> uh, Megan, you know this as well as I do, that sometimes jewelry stores or mom and pop stores that cannot get these watches from the retailers mm -hmm. will often buy multiples for from us of and course. then resell them. Yep. And God bless them for doing it. I mean, we are the largest seller of Swiss watches in North America and the fourth largest seller in the world. And some jewelers out there cannot get this because if they go to get it, they're going to pay three thousand and something dollars and then they have to put it at four, five, and six thousand to sell mm -hmm. it. I went I mean like I went to buy a watch the other day, like the Maurice de Poil five hand oh, that there I purchased. We go. <laughs> two hours. <laughs> two and a half hours yeah. into it. <laughs> <laughs> and they were all gone. They were all gone because somebody bought them in bulk. But look, Aww. here is an opportunity to get the Eterna Madison Mechanical with an alligator strap, all Swiss made. For what, you, what did you say? 80% uh, uh, off yeah. the retail price? Mm -hmm. Congratulations to all of you who are picking this up. 101471, the Eterna Madison Mechanical. But let's go to a different price point that hopefully most people can afford. Not everybody, but if we make it affordable at $24. Okay. This is just silly. This is a brand new premier piece, and it is already at the rock bottom lowest price possible. Was this the color combination you wore yesterday? I don't think so. No, this is what I don't believe we've shown on the air yet. I don't believe so. I don't believe Magic Voice. We've shown this. I had oh, the darker no, version, and then I had the white version with the yellow or uh -huh. gold tone. Here is a completely ah. different version, and don't you love it? I mean, just take a peek right there. Can you see how just here at where the, how that crown is almost surrounded by what looks like a caliper, where it's like it's holding the jewel in place? And it really is because that is a cabochon that's on, that's that little tiny jewel right there on the crown. And it really has a great look to it. The Pegasus Chronograph is a brand new collection. And you can see the piston style pushers that allow us at just a simple push at the two o'clock position to start our chronograph. And you can see the sweep hand going into play. There's our start, our stop, and then of course our reset right there. 
The watch, I think, looks incredible. There's so much style within this watch. Of course, this 45 millimeter case, the Miyota OS 11, is going to be reliable and accurate as far as that movement goes. Take a look at that. Of course, that's telling you so much of what you need. 100 me uh, 30 meters of water resistance. You have a Safatec crystal protecting that dial, 316L stainless steel. Now, why show the back? Why is this significant, Megan, other than the coin edge, the color? Usually, and we've actually spoken to designers here a couple of years ago when we had somebody on the show. They were talking to me about the fact that it's very expensive to play to watch, especially when a company like ours does multiple passes, because this will never, ever, ever fleck off. This is not ever going to be something where you're going to scratch it so bad that you see the stainless steel underneath. It's just never going to happen. If you do, you've injured your wrist. Oh, yeah. You're I gonna, mean, you're going to have to you're in gouge a serious, out. Yeah, you're going to be in a serious accident if that happens, God forbid. So a lot of times with many different watch manufacturers, not just our own company, they don't plate the case back. One, you never see it. So what does it matter? But two, because it's so much more expensive. The fact that we actually, as a company, plated the case back on this watch is a very big deal because it is so incredibly expensive. If you think about the case overall, the case back on this watch holds more gold has, than the bezel. has the most area of gold. What's nice about that is knowing for you, solid gold is touching your wrist and solid gold is being visible or viewed on your wrist. Everything on the inside is stainless steel, but it is all layered with solid gold. So th that's amazing. Yes, it takes a certain level of microns of plating to be able to stand the constant contact with human skin. And that's why some uh, manufacturers may only plate a certain part of the watch, because if it touches the skin, eventually it can wear off. This is going to be there for generations to come, and we are very, very proud of this watch. It's at a price point that is unbelievably low at $119.99. Even the $145 price point is very low. This is probably more in the $300 watch range. That's the feel, the construction, everything about it, that heavily padded, croco-embossed leather strap. But they've put it out. I mean, the, the bean counters here, the folks that really decide what happens, have decided that they would much rather this go out and be on far more people's wrist. And again, you got to love them for it because they love you guys out there. They're giving it to you already at the lowest price possible. Go ahead and try it. We're going to send it to you for free. We're going to guarantee it's the lowest price. If you don't like it, send it back. You shop with confidence with us. We love that you have this available to you. Up next. This is, this is one of Niso's favorite watches. Mine I heard too. him talking to you about the um, inspiration behind the name and whatnot. Look at this and realize that there is so much detail in the San Marco. And as we come in even closer, because that, that's a great shot right there. You have an open heart configuration at the 6 o'clock position. Do you see the Cote de Genève, the waves that are up there at the top in the black part of the dial? That's the watchmaker's way. They almost look like they move as light passes through it. As you look at the sub-dials and you realize there's a bit of skeletonization there and you're able to see the gears behind them. Can you see that? Let's, uh, let's, let's switch to the, that's it, right there. Look at that to realize how rare is it to see the gears that move the hands behind there. Magic Voice is asking what era. It really is unique. It's kind of a uh, nouveau style where you're pulling from an old vintage feel, but you've put it in a, a 21st century or modern capacity. So it's kind of reference back. It's, it's, it looks like it maybe comes from a vintage stop, but it's not. It is a slight bit of an art deco feel to it. You can see it in the, uh, the rising sun right here. You can see it in the way the waves are done and this almost diamond-esque uh, hour indices. The filigree work at the bottom certainly speaks maybe of the 20s and 30s, but the watch itself really is it's just its own watch. And the fact that it should be at the seven or $800 price point blows me away. The 44 millimeter case is just the right size to contain that Chinese ZS2015 movement. It's a 22 joule automatic. And oh, come on back, come on back just for a second, Mr. Live Shot, because you're showing them the front, but you're missing half of the entertainment value because you can take a peek at the front of the watch, but really there's a party party going on in the back because <laughs> you turn that watch over and there it is. There is that beautiful automatic movement. You can see even with this, you know, the ZS2015 
2015 movement, they've still done decorating all the way through. And you have just a few glimpses that you can really see, that you can see through the watch. Can you see that right there? It truly is skeletonized. Safatec crystal both front and back, virtually, you know, scratch proof. I can't tell you you'll never scratch it, but we're going to give you, you know, the opportunity. So take it on all of life's ventures because you got 30 meters of water resistance. You got 316L stainless steel. It's a pretty hardy watch. Now, I'm not going to suggest that you take a titanium pointer to it, but you know what? You're going to have a hard time scratching that. I'm applying a lot of pressure to that watch. Nope, not a thing on it. They're worried in the control room. Nope, I have a great deal of confidence, and uh, you will too. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I can't believe you get a moon phase, mm -hmm. a secondary time zone, all of this on the dial like that, and yet it doesn't feel really busy. I like that the 6 o'clock subdial is a completely different shade. It's all done in that gold tone, so you can see the movement, because it's kind of interesting that they skeletonized just the bottom portion of the watch. I can't wait to see this in another color in the dial, like maybe a silver dial, because oh. I think you'll really be able to see the details even more so. I'm going to turn it so that the light reflects off the table and it gives people a better glimpse inside. You know what's really clean about the watch maybe that stands out to you too? No pushers. Everything operated oh. through the crown. Now I'm going to turn it down right there. There you go. I have found that if we just let the light bounce off of that, it gives you every detail in there. So I'm, it may be an unusual angle, but you need to see what your eyes are going to see when you get it home. Look at that, Megan. Look how three-dimensional. You feel like you can just fly right through there. I would love to see, hey, camera people and all of our uh, special effects people, because we, we have a massive team here. Uh, I want both of you to listen. If you could just imagine a camera flying through the inner workings of this watch. Mm -hmm. or that, Yeah, like a little drone. Or we just shrink you. A teeny tiny little drone. I think this is incredible. Folks, go ahead and consider this watch for $700. Then mark it down and realize that our, okay, once again, your wow price is $149 and that our show price is $154. No, that's not right. Let's, let's make sure we get the folks the right price at home because we're showing a wow price as being less than our show price. And our show price is always the lowest price possible. So we're, so folks, remember, if that's a little confusing to you, it's confusing to me too. Why does this happen? Because <laughs> I would never embarrass the kids in there. You know oh, no. that. This is what they do after school. 287753, the Lucian Picard San Marco. Jenny, you appreciate that I'm throwing, throwing it down at him in there. It's a beautiful watch, and if you want to see one equally as beautiful with so much detail, take a look at the Trevi. Now, I asked, I asked Niso, one of my close oh, yeah, friends. Oh, yeah, one of your close friends. <laughs> I said, where did you get the inspiration? He said, the Trevi Fountain. He said, oh. I had to see all the detail and all of the work, and just, it was one of those that was so much detail in the fountain, I thought, what it would it be like to add that kind of detail to a watch? Okay, you're getting that beautiful, imagine walking to the edge of the Trevi Fountain. Of course, they're using a coin edge here, and if you can see that. And then coming up, because the Trevi Fountain has all that beautiful statue work, just like... Do you like, notice, really quick, I didn't mm -hmm. realize, look, let the light hit it again. Mm -hmm. You've got an anti-reflective coating over your crystal. You see that? Oh, yeah, you do. That's nice. We, don't, we do not do that on our watches. That's expensive. Well, that's when you cool. see that, when you get that bit of iridescence, when the light does catch it... Oh, oh, sorry, go ahead. They want to get a close-up in there right there. Go ahead and pull up into there. Look at that. Give me just a little bit more focus because the watch is so three-dimensional. There you go. Sorry, folks, this is very unusual. There's so much depth in this watch that depending on where they focus, it captures a whole different layer. Well, you can see what the focus does to change. There it is. That's perfect. Sorry, my fingerprint. But see the spring right there? There is your main spring of the watch. There is your escapement. There is your balance wheel. Three hand configuration. And take a look at those hands because you won't see them you know, used in any other Lucian Picard watches other than this new collection. Now, you will notice that even though it's skeletonized, look at how wise they are. They left the chapter ring intact. What does that mean? As the hands reach out, they touch the parts that give you the hour and second indices so that you have a clear view of the watch. Now, look at that to see into it. I like that they did the two-tone as well with the bezel in the case. And then notice that it's replicated on the crown with the crown extension. Oh, that's exactly right. And take a peek at the back. All mechanical. This is not an automatic watch. Fully skeletonized. 
This is allowing you to see, yeah, you can see right through there. And that's a great shot of that balance wheel. Folks, you're not going to have to pay the four, five, or six hundred dollar price point. Oh, I think it's already fully engaged. Oh, sorry. We would love to show you. Uh, oh, no, that's sorry. There, you can give it just no, no more than that. I'm getting resistance, which means I cannot wind any more. This watch is now fully wound. $500, $600, not for you. $229.99. That's the price at midnight on Sunday, but right now, $149.99. We're going to pay for shipping. We're going to give you a 30 day money back guarantee. You're not going to find it for less because nobody else has it yet. It's pretty slim to have a movement like that in. You're I mean, I know kidding. you love the Matador, but that's a really thick case. But I, I buy the Matador because it looks expensive because of the thickness. Like, yeah. oh, there's but more this, of it. It must be more expensive. This is also really nice because you can wear Slim it with line. a suit or a dress shirt and it's slimmer, even though it should be a thicker case because of the movement inside. It is so three dimensional. When you see this watch, as I rotate my arm around, I want you just to see how deep that watch goes. Almost, all, it goes all the way through to my wrist because it's see through. Now, just as a case in point, there's the Matador on my other wrist. You're right, look how slim this other one is. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, there's the Matador and its thickness. Look how thin they have made this automatic, I mean, this mechanical movement. Folks, go ahead and put this in your, just your wish box. Add it to your collection. Go ahead and get it, 287812 Lucian Picard Trevi Mechanical. I like that the edges of the hands all have the white. That's filled with loom. So even dark. though it's a dress watch and skeletonized, they've still given you the ability when you step into that dark theater to go, oh, we still have time to make dinner. <laughs> All right, we've got a couple minutes left in the show. Now we mentioned we presented a watch like this next one earlier. So we're going to do a quick mention now of the SXC GMT. This is a 48 millimeter Swiss made watch. GMT means you get a secondary time zone. It's a polycarbonate. This is the one that I was talking about that's super lightweight because it's the polycarbonate case mm -hmm. and bezel. So it's incredibly lightweight. These watches are worn by the astronauts and people who work with the Space Exploration Corporation. $360 for a Swiss made watch. Five payments of 72 bucks. 264153. Not only do you get a GMT, it's also a 200 meter professional grade diver. Another quick mention here, here's the other variation of my Ooh. hot pick, the 38 millimeter Ponto Star Side 286526. What's the difference between them? My dial has the pink portion at the top. Oh. This one has the gold portion. Other than that, it's the exact same hand-built Swiss-made watch. This one, $16,000. You've got 91 points of diamonds. Of course, that's just a hair away from a full carat of diamonds. Sapphire crystals front and back, a true moon phase application. Calendar day of the week, the date, and the month of the year all on the dial. I love the way the day and the month are in those little crescent moons. Here, it's also on a satin leather strap. And again, it's a 38 millimeter case. Ladies, there's only a few of these to go around. These are for the ladies like me who appreciate watchmaking because yes, it's absolutely stunning, but the movement caliber inside is so high end and so complicated, you only ever need to change the date or the time on this watch once every leap year. 286526, five payments of $660. You know, we have not had a chance over, the, over this whole week to do Momo design. Momo is famous for their contribution to the automotive world. They are customizers of everything from steering wheels to seats to other accessories. When they put their hand to the watch world to make sure that the automobile lovers out there also had a great watch with all of their design heritage, they were able to really give you something exceptional and because they've stepped out of the box. Now, of course, you know, it's a larger watch at 47 millimeters. The Miyota OS 11 is a fantastic movement that's going to be reliable and accurate. But what you're going to appreciate is the Italian design, Italian made watch. Now, if you think, well, it's not Swiss, well, neither is a Ferrari and nobody complains about that. I want to make a quick note and mention that this is a watch that retails for nearly 600 bucks and it uses the same Miyota movement that some of our new Lucian Picards are using. Just Isn't that incredible? It out there. I mean, yeah. And we're not saying that 
you know, all things are equal. We're saying, isn't it amazing that if you're worried about, well, the Lucian Picard is only $119, how good can it be? Well, Very. as good as a $600 Momo design <laughs> when it comes to what's going on on the inside. Now, part of the craftsmanship of a watch certainly is the case and the design. Now, I want you to take, you know, I want you to take a moment and look at it and realize, you know, half of it is in a satin finish and the other half happens to have the carbon fiber. And it really is beautiful. And the pushers are kind of tucked away right here because you almost can't even see them as well as the crown. But simply hitting that pusher is going to give us our start. You see the sweep hand coming into play. Stop. And of course, our reset. Beautiful watch. Notice that there's a natural curvature all the way through it. It happens to have a pry apart deployment. So simply hitting that in the back is going to pry that open. It's going to allow me to slip it on my wrist. So hold that shot and you need to see the watch right there on my wrist. Now, I think this watch is one of those watches that's easily going to be comfortable for you and you're going to love it. Now, I'm going to have to hurry through this because we have a ladies watch that we want to make sure you get to see too. Now, when you look at Momo Design, you realize there is a lot going on here and for only $99.99 .99 to get Italian design, Italian made, Momo's hand upon it, it's really fantastic. The silicone strap is incredibly comfortable to wear and you're going to love the fact that you have exactly the same movement that's going to be reliable and accurate through some of the best watches out there. Only $20 gets it home. That's your first of five stress-free interest-free payments. 283009 Momo Design Highway Chronograph Black and Light Gray. And by the way, there are other variations of this watch. You consult our website. We may have one that's just right for you. I love that we finally have the Ritmo Mundo Corinthian Chronograph in the smaller 40 millimeter size because we always air this watch in the full size 47 millimeter. But now here we get the exact same look, ladies, except pared down to a much more manageable size. Do you like this one? I do very, very much. Because, I mean, seriously, this is one of those, we've all loved the larger Ritmo Mundos, and here is now something specifically for you. Would you wear it? Absolutely. I was just thinking, should I get this watch? Because I think it is, Ooh. I swear, I think it is so cool. We have a few mm -hmm. different colors to choose from on our website. I love it for the same reason I love the oversized ones, or the men's variation. It looks like a vintage pocket watch. Yes, so it does. So automatically, it doesn't look like anything else that I own and that most people own. I love the old world crown and pushers. Notice the furnace blued style. That's actually blue ionic plating, but it's done in a brigade style for the hands. At 40 millimeters, it fits really, really well. That pocket watch style continues with the perfectly rounded shape case and the concave crystal. And then you've got the unique styling of the lugs. Those almost look like T-bar style lugs because in original days when pocket watches were becoming wrist watches, they were actually soldering on loops and running a strap through them. So this watch really is a perfect replica of the vintage era. And how yeah. nice does that look? It's oh, really unique, right? That's the perfect size because, I mean, that really looks nice. Here, you can have it for $250. Is it remember, comfortable? Super comfortable. I have it on the tightest closure with my oh. six inch wrist. $250, five payments. The retail price on this is $800, so you are saving quite a bit. Well, it's time. No. We've got to say goodbye, but before we officially wrap, we are going to recap. We are going to start with the best selling item of the past two days and go down from there a bit. It's kind of like a highlight reel. Sure. Let's see what the number one seller is. Oh, excellent choice. You have great taste, folks out there. The Maurice Lacroix Miros Chronograph. It's that watch that makes the perfect everyday watch, and you're going to be comfortable with it. It's a watch that, you know, it's 30, what is this, 30, 40? This is a 43. 30, 43 millimeter watch. And it's classic in its configuration, but there's just enough sportiness to it because of that tachymeter style bezel that's on there. You have a three-hand configuration. You have the expanded date window at the 12 o'clock and three subdials for the chronograph with those just stylized pushers on the side. This is a $1,700 watch that you're getting $1,300 off the retail price and only $86 gets this piece home. This is truly one of the watches that I would love to have. It's just my daily watch if I just had to have one. So if you're looking for somebody in your world to get a watch as a gift, this is certainly one to consider. Right behind that is... I knew. I had a feeling that this watch yes. would be a big seller. 287663, the all-new Ben & Sons Voyager, the 45 millimeter 
on the stainless steel mesh bracelet. This is the second watch from our company-owned brands to feature this unique style of bracelet. You can see the first one is the Lucien Picard Fidelity. You've got the VD53 with date, quartz chronograph movement inside. You get a five-year warranty on that. Silver tone and black. I love this collection. We have many options to choose from on the leather strap, but this one looks the most expensive. 287-663, 19 bucks gets it home. And right behind that is going to be one of our new watches from Lucien Picard, the Pegasus. And I wore this all day yesterday, absolutely loved it. It looks like some of the other high-end watches that we have, only $495 if you bought it retail out there. $126 from us, and they even cut the price off of that. $114.99, ridiculously low. It even took the designer back. $23 gets it home. That's your first of five stress-free interest free payments, and it is an incredible watch beyond the price that you're seeing right there, we promise. 287747. Got another bundle. Looks like this was the best-selling bundle collection, the 52-millimeter Neptune, all blacked out with the rose hour markers and bezel. That has the Val Swiss 21 Jewel automatic movement inside, and it's paired up with the 48-millimeter Swiss-made Abysos. That's a Swiss-made watch with the Swiss-made STP 1-11 automatic movement. Both watches for 300 bucks, 287015. Another color variation of this bundle right behind that. Again, you get both watches for the total price of $300. The Neptune even comes packaged in a watch winder, 287017. 60 bucks down, five months. That's, a do that's $2 a day. You're also, you're also going to appreciate the quality of this Boulevard dress watch, which is stunning all the way around and at a fraction of the price. $139.99, only $28 gets it home. Thanks, guys, so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed the show. You have until Sunday to get the best possible prices and the stress-free payments. Take care. Bye-bye, everybody. See you soon.